the freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Because I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> Is Trina there? Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch mouth. Cause I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her, somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give her fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. So get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. I told you he has some shit. Okay, are we on? Uh, welcome to the 5150 Maybe. show. Possibly. Um, <laughs> Hey. We here? Kinda. Um, um, this happened Friday. Um, we didn't remedy it. So I'm sorry, everybody who waited up to see the show. All my chat room goons on the boss. This won't happen again. <laughs> on the boss. Anyway. It's a lot of crazy stuff happening in the news this week. I saw some on CNN. Some Caucasian people were pointing guns at protesters. Mm. Some dude had a automatic rifle, and his wife had her handgun, and um, nobody got shot. <laughs> they felt threatened mm. by an angry mob. I just want to say, man, you know, it's like, White people, I think y'all should pull out y'all guns more mm -hmm. and just really come out the bag so that these people who think voting their way into power and everything can see what's really going on in this world. Here's the facts. Caucasian people can stand outside with guns. They can go yell at a cop in his face holding a gun and they didn't do anything, remember? My rights. Yeah. God damn it. Black people can't. Sitting in the cop's face. You don't have the right to have a gun. And if you think you have the right to have a gun because of some paperwork, uh, when that bloody paperwork gets stepped on, is anybody <laughs> walking over your body? <laughs> Understand, this world is cold-blooded for everybody, especially America, is cold-blooded for anybody who's not Caucasian. Because this man had an automatic assault rifle. Mm. In St. Louis. You know, in St. Louis, that's the place where you can get your guns. <laughs> it be dudes at the comedy shows selling guns. Them gun, them gun dealers, because mm -hmm. that's one of them places where you can carry your gun. Really? But if you are black, I don't care if you are a security guard. The only reason black police can carry their guns because they have on a police uniform. Black detectives are in danger. <laughs> if you ain't walking around with a badge made at Kinko's real big and you black, you in danger if you got a gun in your hand. And that goes for Latinos too. I hear they killed a young Latino kid. Security guard. Like 18 and 19, he was a security guard. Mm -hmm. And they said, oh, we was looking for somebody in that description. Mm. Like they always say. Mm -hmm. Young man dead showed his family up there at the place like what happened what happened all the sheriffs and everything were just pushing them away like oh uh, we're launching an investigation and all that shit i want to get in trouble for saying this i want the, i want the smoke until motherfuckers start busting at the cops <laughs> cops will not respect civilians Holding up a camera is not the thing to do when the cops got your people down on the ground. No. Nope. You got it. You got, they don't expect you to bust. That's how cocky they get. If you ain't finna bust at the police, then your people might get murdered right in front of you. How many times has it happened where people called the police on their family members and then somebody got killed at the house mm -hmm. by the cops? Mm -hmm. yeah. This is... Because of Donald Trump's cockiness, the other 
wicked honkies have gotten bold enough to do what the fuck they want to do and say what the fuck they want to say. They come out with this name called Karens and shit. Just bitches who know. It ain't no repercussions to what the fuck I do. I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. They, they don't have laws to lock me up. All I got to do is show up with my white face in court and the system works for me. Yeah. If you're in court and you white, whatever you did, it's not going to happen if you black or brown. So I'm just letting y'all know. I'm not going to jump into action until we all scared. Because marching is not, that ain't shit. That's the dumbest shit you can do. That was back in the 60s when motherfuckers thought you can march your way into some type of power. But now that I am certain marching is for suckers, that's like, marching is like wearing a mesh rubber with a street bitch. (laughs) Like chain mesh? So Any kind of seepage. So you're saying why bother? <laughs> yeah. A porous condom. Yeah. Mesh yeah. lamb skin. Mesh, yeah. <laughs> or, any, or just mess around with them and try to use them any protection, basically. Right. Marching is, is like shitting in your car and wiping it up. Yeah. <laughs> Useless. That wipe ain't going to, it's in the car now. <laughs> Anybody Three. ever shit in the car know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Like a pump fake in a dunk contest. And it, right. It don't count for shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Marching is like finger fucking your girl and going to work. <laughs> you know what's going to happen when you leave. What's going to happen? I'm saying, like, some guys, they, they, <laughs> some guys, unfortunately, later in life, they dig don't work at all. Right, right. I'm talking about at all. Why do you have a girlfriend? You need to have a friend that allows you pussy sometimes to smell and whatever. Yeah. At all. Because <laughs> <laughs> if, you dig, if your dick don't work, you're going to lose your girl. I'm yeah. here to tell you. Uh, I know. You're going to lose your girl if your dick don't work. Trust me. Well. Nigga. Well. Are we They're going to find you? a reason to leave you. Are we <laughs> taking your taking my word for it, nigga. If your dick don't work, <laughs> that <laughs> woman you love and care about is going to find a way to be the fuck gone, nigga. Damn. You hear me? <laughs> trust me, nigga. You hear me? <laughs> and why should they trust you on that one, Corey? You speaking from experience? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience. Oh, if yeah. your dick okay. don't work, you going to lose your girl. You saying your dick don't work? I ain't saying my dick don't work. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. I know. You just, we try to clear. <laughs> I know. <laughs> if your dick don't work. <laughs> don't worry about my dick. <laughs> I'm just saying. But I know if your dick don't work, what happens? You got to wear a lot of white blue jeans suits. You got to wear a lot of what? A lot of white blue jean suits. I don't know what the fuck you got. Uh, I tried to say it. I couldn't say it. I said you got to be a flashy dresser if your dick don't work. You got to be a flashy dresser. (laughs) You just got to wear camouflage. You don't want to be seen. Don't don't wear nothing. You got to wear camouflage. (laughs) If your dick don't work, you don't have a girlfriend. Trust me. They're going to find a way to exit. Get ready wow. for the pain. Oh, my Lord. It's coming, yeah. niggas. But, Corey, on what you're talking about, the marching thing, mm. 100% right. 100% right because, again, we're, 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 we're experiencing a COVID spike, right? That's but, what they say. Right. But, again, I keep telling people, you got to learn how to play chess. I ain't seen COVID. I hear about it. That's, that's I have not seen it. So nobody close enough to but, you? Well, you haven't experienced that? No, Corona is out have there. Have you experienced it? Off the 15 yeah. and the 60. Where's the COVID motherfuckers? <laughs> All you do is hear about people going into the hospital and they be dead. But you don't see these motherfuckers. Where are the COVID dead motherfuckers? Where are they? Show me the COVID motherfuckers. I see people going in the hospital 
for diabetes. diabetes. I see people going in the hospital for all the shit we already know about. Diabetes. They get on them innovative, uh, them, them, they get on them uh, machines <laughs> and they be dead. I have not seen COVID. I'm not saying they ain't got shit out here. Show me the COVID. But where's the motherfucking shit at? You got people dying from regular shit and they say it's COVID. Right. How you know you got COVID? Because they tell you. Where's that? Show me. So you, That's you, all I'm asking. So you hear in the news that there's false positives on the test. Right. Uh, you, and, and again, what Corey is saying from my interpretation is you got to take their word for everything. Right. Fuck their I mean, word. They tell you, and they're like, oh, well, you're You got to take their word for everything. You got to take their word for Dr. Fauci. And we hear all the negative shit about him. Nobody's questioning him on TV. Right. But that's what I Dr. was saying. Dr. Fauci, do you have something to do with this shit that's going on around the world? Nobody said that. Right. The fuck is you talking about, man? Where the COVID at? Show me the motherfucker. But that's what I'll I was saying. I'll pump gas and eat a donut right after. Uh, oh, I <laughs> doubt that. You were the worst one. You were He's all a motherfucking lie. Huh? I was what? Paranoid in the, the whole beginning. Somebody had the meme on there. People with COVID in motherfucking March. Everybody was like, Ugh. <laughs> People with COVID in motherfucking You were over here July. Niggas like, where's that, nigga? Bring uh, it on. He was spraying alcohol. I was spraying I alcohol. You were doing it the most. I was taking precautions. I ain't got no shame to that. But then, I ain't seen this shit. They said my neighbor had the shit and I saw the man had a heart attack. It was a heart attack. So everybody who died, they got the shit. People go in the hospital. They walk in the hospital and they die. They be on them ventilators and they dead. If you sick, don't go to the hospital. About eight years ago, they told my mother she need knee surgery. I said, Mama, you got gout. Who the fuck told you you need knee surgery? Mm. Oh, the doctor say I got to get knee surgery. I, I was looking for that doctor. That doctor would not take my phone call. Well, what the fuck is you talking about? She need knee surgery. I was like, did you fall or something? Right. No, it's just I'm always hurting. The doctor wanted to do the surgery so that he can get the hustle. Right. It's a hustle. Motherfuckers, motherfuckers, some motherfuckers might, I know motherfuckers are going to be like, that's a hell of a hustle. I lost a family member to COVID. How the fuck you know? They told you that's what he had. Where the shit at? That's all I'm saying. I know what HIV is. Mm. You can see HIV. When you see an HIV motherfucker, you be like, oh, that's that HIV right there. Right. He got the hip. Oh, you know what? Yeah, he got the hip like a motherfucker. Where the shit at? Hip and it shall be hiven unto you. <laughs> I'm not saying COVID don't exist. I believe there's something they got out there. But I'm here to tell you, everybody who going to the doctor, you getting murked. Yo mama them, they ain't letting you see them. You can't even get them out the hospital. Mm -hmm. They be like, oh, no, we don't want you to contaminate it, all that sucker shit. Get the fuck out of here. Why are you getting tested for COVID-19 if there's no cure? Why the fuck do you want to confirm it? Because they claim that oh, they want to collect cause you gonna antibodies. Give it, you're going to give it to somebody else. Motherfucker, do you think these pussy-ass masks? Let me see that mask you got, so. I got a nice mask. Let me mm. see. He ain't going to let you go. My now, mask is now very it's nice. A it's, statement. It's, so, it matches my... Oh, no, 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 no. That's you a don't want to touch it. Zoe, that is don't a beautiful mask. It's a very nice mask. Very nice. I, got, I bought some dope ones, too. Do you think if something is airborne, that little ear irritant <laughs> is going to stop you from getting it? I if think you, I'll be fine. Let me tell you something. You see that mask they had on in E.T.? The things that, that that covers up with can't no air or nothing get in there. The whole body suit. Uh, yeah. Hazmat suit. Hazmat suit. Uh -huh. That's how you stop getting an airborne disease. Do you really think that little shirt bottom that you have on, <laughs> that little brassiere you got on your mouth, is going to stop you from getting an airborne disease? If, if one person got it, everybody got it. If you ain't got COVID now, you will have it later if it's real. And I believe it's something out there that's real, but what they're going to do, they're going to activate something in your body when you're dumb enough to take a shot. That's what's going to fuck you up. They vaccine when they get here. That's what's going to get you. Remember Corey Holcomb said it first, if they don't murk me. Letting them put shit in you, flu shots, all that shit got you fucked 
up. You belong to the game once you are injected with Dave Hustle Serum. <laughs> it's Hustle Serum. Where the fuck is this COVID-19 at, motherfucker? Motherfucker, what shortness of breath? Motherfucker, this nigga's been having them symptoms for years. <laughs> What the fuck is you talking about shortness of breath? They just started adding symptoms to the shit. Right, right. <laughs> Nausea when bitches talk. I know I got it. Oh I know I got it. <laughs> Nigga, I start coughing at everything when bitches talk too much. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I'm just saying, I ain't mean to go off about it. I'm just saying, I'm not stupid enough to fall for the sucker shit. And I know people who think like me and they not used to wearing masks, but they trying to make it where you are a weirdo if you don't have on a mask. They trying to make you the bad guy because you don't want to block your system up with that sucker shit they got on. Them masks weaken your system. So when you do take they serum, they hustle serum, that's your ass. Mm. God made the earth where we supposed to be able to walk this motherfucker. They put shit out here to stop us from walking this motherfucker. They don't want you out the house. They finna shut the country down again, have everybody even more fucked up than they already are. Because this motherfucker's who done lost everything they worked for. Motherfucker went to school, mm -hmm. go to college, get this education. Company they bust their ass in college, work their ass off to get a funky ass house. And now the house gone. Sucker shit. Stop believing in everything they tell you. Any kid that don't want to go to school is smart to me. The fuck is in college for the average mother? I mean, I mean, for somebody who above average. If you above average, college ain't for you. If you above average, you're gonna find a way. You know what I'm saying? This COVID-19 bullshit. I'm not saying they ain't got something out here, but I'm just saying the way it activates ain't the way they telling you it go. They weakening you up with them masks. Remember, I told you, that shit you smell in that mask, that's real exhaust out your motherfucker. You, <laughs> let me tell you something. You see this shit right here? This is exhaust. Your right. mouth, your nose. Yeah, you're supposed to let the inhale the good You in the think nose your asshole is nasty. <laughs> <laughs> that's an exhaust, too, your asshole. That's an exhaust, too. It's just, it stank uh -huh. more. So you think that ain't as bad as your mouth and your motherfucking nose. Let a nigga bite you and see what happened to your skin. You will <laughs> see how nasty the human mouth is. Let a nigga bite you. Let a nigga bite you. <laughs> Get bit by a nigga. When I say nigga, I'm just a word I use all the time. When a human being bites you, goddammit, it, you gonna swell up. You gonna get infected. A dog mouth ain't nasty as a human's mouth. And you sitting there with a mask on like this all day at your Cheesecake Factory job because they told you you have to have it on. At Ralph's. At Ralph's. Sitting there, setting your system up to get weak and getting ready for the... This is what's going to happen. They finna come out with the shit that's really going to fuck you up. I don't know if it's going to be by form of a motherfucking vaccine or whatever, but the real shit coming... They setting you up, now they weakening you up. They going for the kidney shots now with the mask. So you ain't about shit when that shit hit. You're not as strong as you normally are, especially older or sickly people. Sickly people being me. I'm a sickly motherfucker. I ain't even gonna lie. I be worried about that shit, but I know what they tell me to do, I normally do the opposite of that. If they saying you gotta wear a mask, I'm like, don't put on the mask. It's something to it. I don't trust that shit. Carbon dioxide re-inhalation. Mm -hmm. Is that what it's called, Zoe? Yeah. You That's why I'm out. glad Zoe here. Zoe got them real names for the shit. I got the motherfucking streets. The street mouth. Zoe got book mouth. Book mouth. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Speak that book mouth shit on their ass, Zoe. Carbon dioxide re-inhalation. That's what happens when you wear the mask for a prolonged amount of time. You breathe in oxygen, you breathe out carbon dioxide. Right. So wearing that mask causes you to re-inhale large amounts of carbon dioxide, yeah, which isn't good for your system. You know why system. you don't die? Because your whole life, your system is building up immunity to all of the bullshit in the air. 
the oh, dust, man. the toxins. That's why you can handle it. Now you blocking it and breathing it and then breathing it right back in. The nasty shit, the exhaust that your system then kicked out. That's why people that are that are uh, that have problems already are the first ones they say so-called dropping. In other words, like people that already have bad symptoms, like let's say a smoker or somebody else that has some kind of health right. problem like that. But right. out here, existing conditions. Mm -hmm. They had boats around the nation, big boats. Those are meat wagons because they ran out of places to store the bodies. Mm -hmm. And in big cities like L.A., if they burn the shit, yeah. it'll be out there. Mm -hmm. So they get the boat, and you shark food. Yeah. <laughs> they drop your dead ass off in the ocean. It's the news. Like they used to do black people when they took us from Africa, yeah. and the ones that didn't make it on that trip where they had everybody pissing and shitting on each other, the ones that died from that nasty shit, they just throw them overboard. They, yeah. From what I hear, the sharks follow. knew what was up. They yeah, would they follow, follow the boat. boats. Yeah, yeah. They was like, oh, it's the, it's the feeding boat. This is how they did black people. <laughs> All you people who motherfucking, this ain't, this ain't taught to you in school no more. Because I saw some books where they had white pharaohs. <laughs> oh I've seen this. Have you Next seen this, though? I, I, yeah. I, we talked about it on Monday. I was like, the wow, they got the people as white from Egypt. Wow. <laughs> and you got some motherfuckers who think Egyptians are somehow light-skinned, mm -hmm. and the interior of Africa is dark-skinned. There's a book out there you should get. It's written by a white man. I, I had this white man on my show because I couldn't believe he wrote this book. And what he said was, he said, man, all the information is out here, and there was a big discussion about it, and I just wanted to point out the racism in the academia. It's called Black Spark, White Fire by Richard Poe. And what he explained was, he said white people came and tried to make a division in Africa. They say everything that's sub-Saharan is Negroid. Right. Everything that is above the Sahara is Caucasian. Whoa. Which allowed them to historically claim Egypt, Ethiopia, because again, people forget the phenotypes of the African covers all facial features. Mm -hmm. Chinky eyes, mm -hmm. skinny nose, skinny lips, mm -hmm. all of that. But it allowed the white historians to come in and say, you see their lips? Oh. You see their nose? Fuck their skin color. Look at that lip, look at that nose. That makes them Caucasian. Whoa. That's how they tried to claim Egypt. Everything that's sub-Saharan. Is that why they knocked the nose off the Sphinx and all like that? A lot of people say it was Napoleon, but that's not true either. When Napoleon found Egypt, it was already covered under sand. So when he uncovered the shit... All the this is hearsay, all... right? No, this is history. There's dates on it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Listen, when we, when we talking about the ethnicity of a group, all you got to do is understand the language that that shit was written in, and it'll tell you the truth. Like that man wrote in that book. He said, black people fathered... What man? Richard Poe. He said, black people fathered every culture in the world. This is a white man saying that. Black people fathered every culture in the world. Zeus. He said, what's Zeus' secret name? He said, most people don't know this. But it's right there in the book. Zeus' secret name is Ethiops. What is Ethiops? Ethiopia. It's a Greek word that means the black one. That's why they renamed Cush, which is spoken of in the Bible when describing people. Cush, meaning black face, black head. They changed it to Ethiopia. Egypt, Greek word. Egyptos, land of burnt faces. Hmm. So again, he said all they do is change the names to confuse. Etymology. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. The etymology of the world. Wait a minute, who is they? Who changed the names? Oh, historians. Oh, okay. White folk. White folk. Yeah. So why do people listen, <laughs> going back to what we was talking about, mm -hmm. what they tell you to do? How can CNN give you any information that you would take seriously? Mm -hmm. How can they do it? How can somebody who constantly knocks you upside the head 
tell you anything. You know how? They knock you upside the head with a block of cheese and right. bread. And so many times. I right. got Popeye's <laughs> ass nigga. So you, get a, you get abused and fed at the same time. That's why I said I got so, Popeye's. So it creates, yeah. it creates a dependency. Right, right, and that's all they got. They're Shit. so used to it. Don't you know that TV <laughs> is for entertainment? Right. Not everybody. TV is surprised. not for information. You see what shows that had the biggest ratings? It was all bullshit shows. Yeah, the, the, the shows on uh, BET. They, at one time, BET fucked up, and they had black programming that was helping people. But shows look, like shows Team like Maury, Summit. Maury, all those other shows like that, too. Stuff like that. They Ooh. took that shit off. Yeah. Maury yeah. is for watching dumb motherfuckers mm -hmm. who get caught up and wanted a TV appearance. Why the fuck would you go <laughs> on TV if you fucked this bitch? It ain't nowhere in the world. I would proudly go on TV and be like, yeah, I fucked yeah, this bitch. Yeah, I was one of the ones yeah. that see. I want to see if it's my baby. <laughs> Them, them fame-hungry motherfuckers. Oh, Why would you embarrass yourself? Mm. I mean, just keeping mm, it yeah, real. Sure. If I fucked up right now and had some abomination that I fucked pregnant, oh, do you man. think I would be proud enough to go on a show? I would be so silent and unparticipant in that child's life unless she gave me the child. I would raise the child because, like, if I had a woman pregnant, I'd be. The, I know the first thing I'd say, I'd be like, I don't want the baby born in a hospital. They're gonna give it shots and kill it. They're gonna put future cancer in it and all like that. As future I found cancer. Out. Yeah. <laughs> this is a delay. What cancer. do you think those shots are? This is, this is a time release cancer. Soon time as you, release cancer. Soon as you have your baby. <laughs> In the hospital, <laughs> they take your baby. Well, they come in the ass. As soon as you have it, they take it. And then they bring it back to you. They bring it back to you, your baby is fucked. Right. When they bring that baby back to you, your baby is fucked. Your baby has been injected with the bullshit. Is that what happens to you too? That is genius, nigga. No. Time, time release cancer, cancer nigga. Mm -hmm. This I'm shit's gonna hit you in around 30. <laughs> No, you, <laughs> this mixed with the chicken, he out of here. It, it's, it's, it's sparked by beard growth. <laughs> this and the Monsanto cheese. Black <laughs> babies, <laughs> black <laughs> babies eat hot wings in four months. Four months. <laughs> <laughs> we know this. This and is factual. Dark oh, alcohol. Maybe and alcohol. In the <laughs> black babies watch their mom and daddy fight it um one week. <laughs> this oh, nigga wild as shit. Oh, my God. Oh. Hell yeah. You're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. If, if you got a baby and you know your baby is born in a hospital, know your baby is coming out of there sick. So Injected with the bullshit. When you, all black people who are, who are trying to get woke, if your woman is pregnant, beg her, please don't have a baby in a hospital. Where should she go? Let an elder who know what they doing deliver the baby. What is that, a doula? A doula, yeah. that's what it's called? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is that what it's called? I, mean, I don't know. Yeah. Craig Vax, nigga. I don't <laughs> no, know. Craig, is a, Craig is a newer generation, brother. Yeah. I Think about how much older we are. That's a birth doula. Shit. I got death. How old are you, Craig? Yeah. I'm 38, man. I got Craig by motherfucking 12 years. Damn. Yeah. Craig don't know this shit. That new generation, I'm talking yeah. about. What's the I'm doula, talking about? Nigga? Erica Badu's a doula. A doula I'm a, I'm is a big lip baby deliverer. Yeah. Okay. You a what? Yeah. Death doula. What the fuck? Oh. Is death doula. You remember when I was going for all that training and stuff? Yeah. A I, death doula is people who see people through on the other exactly, side. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Darlene can be around people dying. I can't I've done it. I've done, I've done she it. She doesn't so have times. a heart. I'm just yeah. telling oh, you right shut now. Up. That, I do it because I have a heart. I've already done it since I was a kid, so I just gravitated towards it. because She I like to see people go away. They be like, I uh, don't want to see them like, in pain <laughs> or by themselves. Can I have this Hold ring? Have Hello. you heard the death gurgle? Oh, Not wow. necessarily, no. Actually, other than my mother, everybody went peacefully. You know the... <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, no. no. He's talking about that last That's breath. Crazy. Right. No. It ain't smooth. <laughs> That's crazy. No. Motherfucker died like this. <laughs> Uh. No. <laughs> the one that had it the worst was my grandmother, but she didn't do that. She did it all the night before, and then she just died in peace. When they're happy and they're going peace, yeah, I find I that that's how they die. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said, man. If your girl pregnant 
The only thing I would beg a bitch, baby, please don't have this baby in the hospital. Let's have this baby outside the hospital. Know your baby. And look, when you don't have a baby in the hospital, your baby is not allowed to go to school with other kids. Did you know that? Yeah, of course. What are you talking about? Did I know that? They going to make your oh, baby get Oh, you never registered yeah. your child for school. Cancer plus. time release <laughs> capsule shots put in them. <laughs> yeah, you Cancer cannot. You have to have records. Time release. And yeah, that's yeah, a that's whole that's black <laughs> market, too. But there's a black market for that. For, you well, have to homeschool your baby. There's somebody out there hustling if the your baby ain't full, No, there's a black market for fake papers. If your oh, baby really? ain't full of the Caucasian man's medicine, yep. he cannot co-mingle with the other kids that are full of the medicine. Mm. They don't want a live baby that's well and not going to break down around the others. Yeah. It might discourage them from having their babies getting them shots in it. I'm giving you this game because yeah, it, it was taught to me. I think my cousin was crazy. Back in the day? I thought everybody kids, was crazy who didn't go with the system. With his kids, he didn't get them immunized. Mm -hmm. And when they was young, yeah. Every time I saw them, they had Something snotty wrong, noses, yep. right? Not I'd be like, skin was peeling. See what you did, yeah. Nick? Scab. Right. Yeah. But them the healthiest motherfucking kids, yeah. they, they, they don't had, never get. They had right, to fight right. off the. They had to fight off the poisons that was out here. Get them they the natural way. Yeah. Them motherfuckers healthy than a motherfucker. Man. If you think that, Zoe, you old enough to know this, runny nose kids. Oh yeah. Oh, what yeah. about Not it? Runny nose kids. Yeah. You grow Not strong. Kids. You don't do nothing but get more. Motherfucker, immune to the shit, and you become the Hercules you're supposed to be. Right. But when you well, get your babies way. them shots, them motherfuckers tell their Achilles is six in the playground. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did it. You still here. So Nigga, you, that's some retarded You Superman shit. through it. They not even athletes. And this is what he said. <laughs> what you say, <laughs> I said, I said, you Superman through it, obviously, because every, all of us have had our My body shots. is starting to break down, D. Oh, so you think it's I'm not as that. well as I used to be. I used to stand under the rim and be able to jump without no, and dunk the ball like hey, that. And hey, hey, because I'm old, hey, I'm hey, not bro. that old. I saw the nigga do it, though. I'm nigga. not that old. But you're really going to do it towards your, your, I saw your him all do the shots. Yeah. Niggas base their value on whether or not they can still dunk the way they used to. That, but that's funny. <laughs> but no, you know what, Craig? I want to say this. No. I feel yeah. not as strong as I was. Yeah. And I know it comes from the diet and the shit that's in me. Yeah. But you was in your 40s. When you what medicine body? do they give you that ain't on the news later on talking about it's going to kill you? There ain't no medicine. No. It's only there one medication, no medicine. man. Huh? Well, it really ain't nothing. Uh, marijuana, a lot of people, you know. Right. What I'm and, and they ban marijuana. Yeah, right. There is no medication that they create that people you can who say, are smart enough to grow their own foods, they claim the seeds. You can go to jail for a garden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. That's Monsanto. Well, Mon going, Monsanto, right? yeah, they own the motherfucking patent on mm -hmm. the seed. On they the so cold. Yeah. And if the wind Man. blows their seed onto a farm. Mm -hmm that doesn't have their seed, and those two seeds kind of intermingle, mm -hmm. they get to claim that farm's crops. And that soil can't grow any other seed, but they seed after that. That's some, that's some way out shit. No, this is laws they wrote so their will can go through. Mm -hmm. They want to be in control. They want well, to be they, in control. They, they, and when they I are. say they, they are. I'm, really talking about, I'm talking about the, the shit that everybody's scared to say. Racist. Caucasian leadership. If you on CNN and you don't have the courage to say racist Caucasian leadership, you ain't talking about shit. You scared to say what it is. Mm. So when you see all these so-called experts go on there, you notice nobody ever say nothing about the racist Caucasian leadership. The president, if they let this shit out, you know it's even way more fucked up than that. They talking about this man took money to take hits for the American troops. Yep. Mm -hmm. But the whole motherfucking hillbilly nation was against Kaepernick. <laughs> what excuse they gonna make now? now uh -huh. What do you that? have to say now? The word is out that this so-called president is part of the scheme to assassinate American troops. You mean president, they call him President Bonesburg. What? 
That's crazy. Now, just mm. thinking about that, yeah. just the thought of that. The, but, I mean, like, do I feel like that's above him? Mm-mm. No. Hell I've no. seen this man. This man married the hooker he liked the most. Mm-hmm. Right. And got the vote of all of the bitches. Just really think about what this world is about. Mm-hmm. Right. What the fuck, man? You walking around this motherfucker talking shit about a motherfucker and his lyrics in a song. Oh, you shouldn't be saying that. And you got this happening, right? This world is poison, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. It's all twisted. They yeah. vote for the motherfucker who rape bitches. That motherfucker say, I grab hoes by the pussy. That's that's some shit that let you know where motherfuckers at mentally. Mm-hmm. What Not the sure fuck is you me. talking about? And you sitting here trying to reason with who? Mm. A cop? Or whoever? Motherfucker... On my way home, I hope I don't run into no motherfucking police because I know them motherfuckers could shoot me in my motherfucking head and they'll say, um, he jumped at me or something like that. <laughs> like they said, the young brother in motherfucking near St. Louis, Mike Brown, they say he ran at the cop's gun. I ain't never forget that when I heard that because I ain't never seen nobody do that. No, I ain't no nigga. I done seen motherfuckers knock cops out. Mm. But I ain't never seen no motherfucker try to go take a gun from a cop. Right. Right. He jumped in my car. Half of his body was in my car, and he was trying to go from... I ain't never heard Mm. of anything like that. You ain't never heard of that because even the craziest motherfuckers don't do that. And I know motherfuckers who are bona fide crazy out there on them motherfucking streets. But when they see the police, they know this is danger. Mm. Right. I'm talking about motherfuckers who done done back crazy shit. Them type motherfuckers. When they see the police, they be like... Cause they know that's death. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. They know yeah. that's death. Real fifty one fifty motherfucker. Right, right, right. That's an actual suicide. Which is name, name now. Yeah, they call it death by cop. You know that. So it's yeah. like if you want to go out, just walk around, and go out there with a gun towards the cop. Yeah. Or, or, or what or looks or like it, a gun. It don't work for white people. Remember, this ain't nothing that's new. True, true if you that. saw the movie yeah. Higher Learning. That motherfucker who played Remy said, I wanted to be an engineer. He had to kill the motherfucker. That white cop said, you can still be an engineer because he was white. Right. Crazy. Fucking insane, man. It is. I'm just saying, man. You got to know what it is, man. Mm -hmm. And if you walk around this motherfucker that don't know, it's your job to know. It's your job to find out what you up against in this world. Mm -hmm. School is for suckers, man. All that shit, y'all sending y'all kids to college, man. Y'all kids gonna be in the hole for a loan that by the time they pay that loan off, they'll be my age. If they ever pay it off. Most <laughs> you see what don't. I'm saying? Most people don't, yeah. You took yeah. a loan out in college and you pay it off when you're 50. That's what the job that you fucking are you fucking serious, man? <laughs> so I'm gonna work all the way, I'm gonna work 20 years out of college, 30 years out of college to pay off a loan. That I know these motherfuckers be fucking off on nothing. Mm-hmm. With, the, in- see, man, with look, the interest, you done already paid it off years ago. Right. However, I seen what motherfuckers what fuck off thirty, forty thousand dollars in a week or two. Mm-hmm. That's your student loan, and it took you thirty years to pay it off. Mm-hmm. But I seen mm-hmm. motherfuckers mm-hmm. fuck that money off in maybe like a weekend or two. Mm-hmm. It's motherfuckers who would never get a chance to even do that. Like fuck that money. Right. It's motherfuckers out, man, look, man. I didn't have motherfuckers just offer me $20,000 just on GP because they my homies. Or they or they cool with me like that. And I turn it down because I say I'm in the hole. This whole shit where I ain't working. Yeah. Motherfucker try to give me $20,000. I wouldn't take it because I'm a motherfucking G. Right. I ain't trying to brag. I'm just saying. I'm a motherfucking G. I, if, if, if I take $20,000 from a friend of mine, that means I'm fucked up nigga that nigga needed that money i had a homie try to give me some money man and i appreciate you i never put you on blast like that hope you're watching the show i appreciate your offer but i'm a g i owe this motherfucking I, I, um these, these 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 white motherfuckers got me in court from the from icm agency mm. talk about i owe them all this money and shit because what they do i want to let all you artists know when an agency approach you, they have a way to set you up. It's called a labor board. Mm-hmm. They don't take you to regular court. They take you to this thing called a labor board. Some more white people 
a white person judges what happens between you and an agency and they determine how much you owe the agency. So when these agencies come at you, especially all you artists who found a way to get some type of income coming in, because that's when the agencies come at us. Right. They don't come get us when we young and grow us up unless we part of the system. A motherfucker that's safe. Mm. But niggas like me who talk this real shit, found a way to make some money. I fell for the sucker shit. I let ICM agency um, come aboard and they set me up to get fucked. Some motherfucker named Chris Smith. This, this, they got a way to, to make it where you owe them money. Mm. And you the artist, you supposed to be they boss. They got, uh, it's called a labor board. And I'm gonna do some type of documentary on these motherfuckers because I don't want nobody else to get fucked over. I looked at all the people they fucked over, like Lionel Richie, mm -hmm. New Edition. Mm -hmm. All these motherfuckers got fucked over by the same motherfucker and nobody ever put them on blast. Mm. I'm like, everybody be scared to burn bridges with the agencies. This motherfucker nigga who tried to do a show with me, um, I ain't gonna say his name yet, but when I do this documentary, I'm putting all that shit out there. He didn't want to tell the truth about the money. Because it would have came he after said, him. He said, I don't want to burn bridges with Chris Smith because I use him to book shows. Wow. I was like, wow. You know these people trying to fuck me over, right? I know, but I'll book you for a show and you'll make some money then. Wow. <laughs> I was like, what? But I can't tell the truth on your behalf. Right. Shit. So I'm born to be mm. anti-system. And I done had powerful powerful people in the business tell me, don't say his name, Corey. That's just going to put you deep in the hole. Fuck him and anybody who riding with him. Fuck it. I didn't, man, I didn't left the system. You, see that, you saw that movie Gladiator? Mm -hmm. You remember when he, he motherfucking, he was, the, he was the leader of the motherfucking army. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he stood on what's right. And mm -hmm. he was on the outside looking in. Yeah. I swear that has happened to me in this game. Mm -hmm. Right. I was one of the first motherfuckers who was fucking with the real powerful motherfuckers. But I stood on something. Then I got knocked all the way back. Then they knocked on the door, called me back. Because it was too many people, like 51, 50 people. Mm -hmm. When y'all gonna book Corey Holcomb? Right. When, woo, woo, woo. My yeah, name buzzed problem? so much uh -huh. in their ear, they finally called me back. Mm. And then tried to act like they was my <laughs> manager. Whoa. And send me a bill for that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Motherfuckers just don't know, man. When I put the story out there, man, I'm a motherfucking clarify a lot of shit, man, that go on in this world. But motherfuckers be acting like, oh, Corey, you, what? What is just hopeless? No, it ain't hopeless. You just got to understand. When you walk out the door, when you walk out your front door, I'm talking about everybody who in the business. Mm -hmm. When you answer this phone, whenever you are in contact with anybody, this is the hunt, nigga. Motherfuckers is go get you. What's your Craig? Craig is a is is a guy who has the type of willpower to finish shit off and and and, and, and do shit. And I, I always admired that about him. Pretty soon, you gonna start getting phone calls, right? From motherfuckers you ain't never heard of, but they gonna have a little power in the game. The reason they calling you because they had they be like, okay. We can, we can get something off this motherfucker. Right. It ain't because, oh, you talented and they want to help you. Yeah, That's what I'm trying to they tell you. When yeah. you start getting the phone calls, mm. you got to be ready to play some real chess and have some paperwork in there that might protect you in a court, a law against them saying, I don't never want to be in debt to y'all. Mm. That's what you tell any agent. I don't owe you shit. Any money that we make together it's got to be in writing. We made this money together. I'm taking mine off top. Yeah. But see, by the time you get there, you're going to be making money. And they're going to want to merge into your shit. That's right. what they did to my shit. Right, right. So these yeah. motherfuckers getting money off of me that I've been getting the whole motherfucking time. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Now I owe them money. That I'm like, I, I built this shit. What the fuck I owe you? Right. But that's how the system go. You go see a white motherfucker, and another white motherfucker tell you this, and they all chop your money up in the end. Mm. It's really some gangster shit. Yep. <laughs> Man. I'm telling you. Zo, everybody, everybody out there doing something. When them, when them motherfuckers start knocking at your door, that's a cap. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that ain't no motherfucking, oh, the good shit coming. No, motherfucker. They mm. found, well, we finna hustle this mm. motherfucker. They he found the a, how the fuck yeah. he make it up out the hole we built for him? It's a glass ceiling up here. What the fuck? How you get out of that? You know what? We gonna find a way to hustle that. The talented turtle. Right. <laughs> the talented turtle. <laughs> he got out. <laughs> how the fuck he get out? All That's right. what I found out the hard way, Joe. I found out the hard way, man. These motherfuckers talk about I owe them money and motherfuckers on the street I'll be like, what? Uh, but you can't make them disappear. If you could make them disappear, I would have motherfucker handled it that way. I'm just keeping it real because I know motherfuckers make shit disappear for a fraction of the money they talking about. <laughs> but you can't make it disappear because it's too many of them. Yeah. It's just a dead on you. But I don't give a fuck about the name Corey Holcomb anyway. Ask my baby mama. <laughs> Hustle that motherfucker. Take it, put it in the courthouse. Whatever you gonna do, bitch, go get it. Collecting is hard. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, shit, I die in debt. That's what Donald Trump did. Anybody who know anything about Donald Trump, he mm -hmm. just filed a bankruptcy on all the shit. And Chapter 11's all over. Right. All, all, all over. Yeah. Yep. Oh, you're right. I don't give yeah. a fuck about my name not being shit. You go fill out money for a car. Oh. Your credit fucked up. How much I got to put down, motherfucker? That's yep, what I tell the motherfucker. Yep. How much I got to put down to get the motherfucking car? <laughs> Talking to me about my motherfucking credit and you well, motherfucking Well, with your credit, it's going to be $30,000. <laughs> car yeah, now give me the motherfucking car. <laughs> and I swear, that's what I'll be on, G. Go your payments will be... Motherfucker talking to me about some motherfucking <laughs> credit. Mm. The fuck I need 50, some credit for, motherfucker? <laughs> Credit, yeah. credit is credit is good for a motherfucker who working a steady job and ain't nobody got no liens or nothing on their shit. But when I found out what liens can do, <laughs> this motherfucker don't even know. Hey man, Craig, if you had a house, do you know I could put a lien on your house yeah, and it'll yeah. be legit? Mm -hmm. wow. Just because I want to, motherfucker, you owe me thirty thousand dollars. You gotta go to court to fight the lien. Right. Give a fuck about oh, no right house. Right now, with this whole COVID thing and people not working, ooh, there's so much stuff out there right now. Today. Evictions oh. are coming next. Oh, hey man, it's oh, a way yeah. to get you up oh, out of your yeah. motherfucking house. I don't give a fuck what you get. Right. I didn't even know you could do that cold blooded shit. Yeah. These motherfuckers hustle liens. Mm -hmm. Right. They can put liens on your car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you done paid off your car then, think a motherfucker just say, hey, he owe me $30,000. That's why you hear all those crooked fools putting stuff in the kids' names. Yeah, you gotta Step fight the lean off. Yep. Right. That's mm -hmm. the song. Fight the <laughs> lean off. Fight, fight the lean off. Right. <laughs> fight the lean off. <laughs> fight the lean off. <laughs> that be. Uh. I was hanging around. This, I was hanging around these crooked ass people. One of them was a lawyer. <laughs> And it was a female lawyer. She was like, I'm going to put a 5-5 five five on his 6-7 and woo de woo de woo all that shit, them lawyer terms yeah. and names. I was like, what the fuck that mean? Oh, she's going to put a lien on his house so he can't motherfucking do this, that, and the other and shit. I was mm. like, they could just put a lien on the house? Mm, that's crazy. And even when you prove the lien ain't motherfucking real, after spending money doing that, guess what? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put another lien on your house, mm -hmm. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you best to lay low. For you run into these good hustling motherfuckers, yeah. cause if you ain't gonna kill them, you gonna pay them. You gonna have to pay them. If you ain't finna kill them, you gonna pay them. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be one or the other. That's another song. And the motherfuckers who know yeah. motherfuckers. That's will, another song. <laughs> That's and the motherfuckers who know motherfuckers will kill them. They find ways where they put it in the company. So even if you kill him, you still owe the company. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This agent I'm talking about named Chris Smith used to have his office in the middle of the motherfucking building because it was too many death threats on his life. Damn. Like that? And I knew this, this too. To I knew it. And I still fuck with him because I thought I was, I'm that nigga. Right. It's just like when you fuck with that scandalous ass bitch. Right, like, right. She ain't gonna get me. Yeah, nigga, I know what the fuck I'm gonna get, get the heebie-jeebies right. Right, she gonna get you, nigga. <laughs> there you go. All you women, too, when you fuck with that dude who think he's smooth and all that shit, and you be like, he's nice. Yeah. All right, you're going to get it, too. It's called an M.O., and when you hear too much, it's like, nah, red flag. <laughs> Doesn't even have to be red. It could be peach. This is a terrible <laughs> agent. God damn. Yeah, he is the most diabolical. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. this, is the, this is the Joker agent right here. This nigga got <laughs> 
He probably got an evil laugh. <laughs> this is what happens to people in, in life in a lot of ways. You think you can control a motherfucker that you know ain't shit. Right. You can't control nobody. They got tricks for you, man. Especially yeah. if you black and they white. You ain't got a chance. They got shit. I ain't never, I, man, look, I heard a labor board before, but I didn't know what the fuck it was. Right. Labor board is some white people that work with other white people to put <laughs> debt on your motherfucking nothing ass. Make, it's basically putting you in check. Yeah. They're there to keep it in check. You Whenever know? somebody say they taking you to the labor board, mm -hmm. that's they, that's they people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's they people. Yeah. Just like when they had Barack Obama was the, running for the uh, White House. It was like, oh, it's a black dude. I was like, that's they man. <laughs> he he up with them. It all mm. show. Huh. Anyway, I was ranting on that shit, but I believe it's some shit that'll help people. They need to hear because sure. I don't want nobody to be fucked up like like I am. I mean, I ain't worried about the shit. I'm gonna get up out the shit any motherfucking moment. Whatever the fuck. Because I don't really give a fuck about nothing anyway. I ain't trying to motherfucking have shit. I'm trying to lead this motherfucker. And, 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 like, as I get so sick where I know I ain't going to make it, I start getting the shit to motherfuckers I know. Yeah, get this shit before they come get it. That's my dad did. That, you, did I tell you that? Yeah. He was on his deathbed. Get like, the, they, they finna take this shit yeah. from me. Here, take it. Take it. Get he it out said, my name. Said, whatever you it's want, yours. Go take it from his come property because he said, I haven't paid taxes in 20 years. He said, fuck them. Yeah. My dad. He said, I haven't paid taxes in 20 years. He skirted around it. He had some kind of system going on. And he just said, forget it. He didn't teach you the game? <laughs> You're funny. We teach no, I'm, I'm, said, I'm giving everything away, but I'm taking this shit with me. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, B, didn't, we, didn't you say it was some, some guy, he, he had a business for all these years, and then when he left the business, he gave it to the workers? Yeah, on the corner where I live, yep. He had a, a nice burger spot. It's right there. Because those from L.A., he probably knows about it. It was on, um, it was on Pico. And he had a, an Asian guy. And he had a... Uh, some brothers, Mexicans, they were two brothers, and they worked for him for like 20 years, and his family was awful. All his kids didn't want to participate, sisters, mothers, everything. Nobody wanted to help the guy out, and when he passed, they were all wondering who was going to get it, and he gave it to those two workers, those guys that had, you know, worked for him for 20 years, and they were pissed. Right. Yeah, they tried fighting, but there was nothing they could do. He, it, he had it in writing. He was still alive. He could do it. He did it, yeah. So while you still alive out there, you might be somebody who know you ain't got much time left on this planet. Just whoever you are, whatever your circumstances mm -hmm. may be, go on, get that shit to somebody who deserve it. Don't right. let your Doesn't family have, have it just because they're your family because yep. your family don't give a fuck about you in a lot of situations because you had a baby with an ain't shit bitch <laughs> or you had a baby with an ain't shit dude mm -hmm. and the shit... It's so fucked up now. Like, man, I be laughing when I motherfucking go to certain functions and shit. I be mean, fortunately for me, I ain't gonna lie. The Holcombs, that's from my father's side. They more tight knit. The Holcombs. Hmm. They more tight knit. My mama people ain't shit. Them motherfuckers? No. I be laughing at them motherfuckers. When they talk, I just do this. Oh, oh, oh. I look at them. <laughs> My mama had one of her sisters. What is my mama's sister daughter? That's her what? Niece. Your mom's niece. Niece came niece. over there and stole a watch out the house. My mama knows she stole the damn wow. watch. Ain't nobody else took the motherfucking watch. Right. Mm. I'm talking about on my mama's side, yeah. them people ain't bow shit. And I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you get mad, motherfucker. If you, if, if you don't fit the description of what I'm talking about, don't right. get mad, it motherfucker. shouldn't bother you, right. But I watch, like, the Holcombs. That's my, my father people. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's fucked up people on every side. Sure. But it's more honorable right. Holcombs mm. them Jones. Uh-oh, oh, not the Joneses. I'm oh, looking at no. them motherfuckers. <laughs> Oh, oh, man. Who the, who the yeah. fuck is, what, this motherfucker think I'm stupid? Right. Oh, shit. All them motherfuckers be janky than a motherfucker. The Jones. Janky Jones. Janky Jones. I remember one day I saw one of my, <laughs> one of my cousins on the motherfucking um, train when I was a young nigga, uh -oh. around about 20. I was like, it was a, you know, you run into your cousin, hey, mm -hmm. what's up? And she act like she ain't know me. Uh -oh. I was laughing. Then I saw the bitch one day, you know, I do this comedy shit. Uh -oh. Hey, Corey. I was like, who are you? But who you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bitch, you didn't even know me on the train. 
the fuck is wrong with you, motherfucker? Yeah. I just didn't recognize you. Oh. I told my mama. <laughs> I told my mama about her. Wait, who is this? This is my mother's mother. I don't know. Let's just say maybe it's a niece or maybe a cousin. Yeah. I said something about the shit, and it was all on point. I told my mama, don't ride down south in the car with them people. Just get on the train. I mean, get on the plane and meet them there. When you ride in the car with somebody, that's a whole lot right. mm. to drive from, like, for 12 hours somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. You don't do that out. unless you close with a motherfucker. Right, 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 right. right. Uh-oh. My mama told that lady that, and she was mad at me. I think this is like my auntie or something like yeah. that. I don't know. She was bad at so me, and probably, I was looking so at her like... So she's probably foul, because she's feeling some sort of way. Yeah. So yeah, she My mother yeah. rolled back with him, uh. and it turned out to be everything I said it was going to be. <laughs> see, see? Gotcha. That's, that's, that's you the don't best ride in no car with nobody for 12 hours unless you fuck with them. Yeah. Right. Mm. I don't care if it is your family. You can't be around motherfuckers that you don't fuck with. Mm -hmm. Right. That's true. Yeah. Blood or not, that's ain't right. Ain't no, ain't no honor and principles in society no more. Nah. It was, let's say in the 50s, 60s, 70s, family meant something. Mm -hmm. Man, that's your family, man. You know yep. what I'm saying? Yeah. Nowadays, they your brother's looking for you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't give a fuck who you are. <laughs> your mama know you down here? No, nah, your oh. mama be down there with you. Oh. Right. <laughs> they be together. Damn. <laughs> That's some real shit. Yeah. <laughs> you and your mama the club together, fuck if somebody your family? Yeah. If they your family, it don't mean shit. I fuck with motherfuckers who stand up. They ain't got to be my family. As long as it's motherfuckers who stand up. When the shit hit the fan. And you know the shit gonna hit the fan one day. Mm -hmm. You could just be walking down the street. Yeah. You could be standing outside somewhere and the shit hit the fan and motherfuckers going to show you who they are when the mm -hmm. shit hit the fan. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. You go see. Mm. Yeah. It ain't no way you can avoid it. If you are outside in public, when the shit hit the fan, motherfuckers going to show you who the fuck they are. Right. That's Definitely. true. That's real talk. With anything, any situation, you're right. You call Brand. somebody your family you won't you won't do okay that's your cousin your cousin just watched you get your ass whooped by mm, one by nigga by mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> one one nigga hey listen I got one so. uh -huh. right you know I, I, I couldn't get I, involved I in that it's shit not like it happened two listen, times come on shit. I got I got a new job on on Monday I I can't be I involved can't. in none of this. Yeah. 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 All you had to you do was get a, talking to the nigga like that. <laughs> get a nigga your wallet and he'll leave you alone. <laughs> You're not yeah. finna fuck my life up. Yeah. Right, oh. nigga. We were just supposed to have lunch. I, I didn't know this shit was going happen. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I'm tell you, man. I just, I, so much crazy shit that happened in my life the last, the, like the last 10 years that really opened my eyes to how life really works. I'm like, mm. damn, just because a motherfucker with you don't mean he with you. That's some real, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. man. That's because a motherfucker. That's true. It's yeah. always around you. Don't mean he gonna be around you when he should be around you. Right. Uh, picking and choosing when to be around. Right. Mm. When it's sweet. And right. then rub it in when... Remember, I was there that one day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nigga, that was the cotton candy there? day. <laughs> <laughs> of course you were there. You nigga. had no choice. I picked you, I picked you up or something. Right, nigga. You yeah. had no <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, anyway, yeah. I, I knew I was going on. We got to get into this bullshit part of the show. Here we go. Um, <laughs> Damn. The part of the show that will never have a sponsor. Fuck. Um, these family. loose talk, talk about, about bullshit. bullshit. Corey's that family in the car. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. You talk that shit, dude. Okay. You know I fuck with you. Anyway, thank you for that. So... The BET Awards were held this past Sunday. I know a lot of people that didn't know about it. Uh, it was held Sunday, June 28th, in, it, in its very first, of course, virtual awards show. And word is the one network ended up pulling it off quite well. I mean, you know, I didn't watch. It looks beautiful. I'm I sorry. didn't. I didn't watch the whole thing. Ah, that's a great job, Sarah. I didn't watch the whole thing, um, but I did catch little tidbits. You know, they release little little portions of it. And it was, it was okay. Um, it was entirely remotely done. And a, a comedian actress, Amanda Seals, who I, I like her, she hosted it. 
Uh, it lasted three hours, and there were many performances. Of course, now, because they can just, you know, start, hey, the production is, you know, here we go to this person, this person. So it was quite easy, instead of having people come in for a live, uh, you know, award show. So they pulled it off. Um, it started off, they had a Nas and YG join Public Enemy to perform Fight the Power. So in this case, considering the time and everything that's happening, it was also like, you know, it looked like a, a revolution, you know what I'm saying, happening, because everything was pretty powerful, you know what I'm saying, performance-wise, and people giving speeches and accepting things like that. So if you want to, you can check it out. They have different clips available. However, the whole show is not available. They do re-air it. Of course, you know, BET knows what they're doing. They'll re-air it, I think, um, tomorrow. But you can catch little uh, video clips of it here and there. They also celebrated the network's 40th anniversary along with the award show's 20th anniversary. So to them, it was a big, big deal to do this big show. Um, and like I said, you can check out individual ch uh, clips. Uh, the ones that I saw were pretty good because like Amanda did her own, they allowed her just like an award show, little, you know, little uh, vignettes, little comedy skits and stuff like that in between. So it was pretty interesting. They actually ended up having 21% more watchers than their average award show. 3.7 million viewers. Yeah. Ain't shit else to do. You know, <laughs> here we go. Here and we it go. viewed on, and, and it aired on uh, simul, simulcast on mm -hmm. CBS for the See, first time. See, so that's huge. Yeah. That was That means big. CBS ain't had shit to show. Yeah. We like, look, we might have to show these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> But the way they doing these things nowadays, it's kind of scary when you think about how the world works because it's a lot of these shows mm -hmm. that got picked up again. Yeah. They are leaving those studios because they trying to save that money. Like, I know a show The Doctors is mm -hmm. leaving Paramount because it's all virtual shit. Mm -hmm. They're like, we ain't got to pay them motherfuckers. We can put that money in our pocket. We ain't do this shit at home. Right. On Zoom. Right. You better get your Zoom on, nigga. Right. Download your shit. Right. All them grips and shit. Yeah. Them motherfuckers uh -huh. is gripping their nuts. They better, because there's a lot. You're right. Stuff like that. The even grips are gripping their nuts. They gripping their nuts That's right now. Damn, it ain't shit to do. Mm. Even concerts. I mean, all those people. Can you imagine all those hands that were... You know, you tours? never... I have never missed summer concerts. Wow, I know. Like... This this was this a lesson crazy. to that atmosphere of sitting out there and passing on shows. Yep, watching everybody. You know, you be at the concert. Yeah. It's Take packed. Take for granted. Yeah. Motherfuckers drinking beer. They just got Festival, on heels. Two days. Yeah. yeah. It's it's like you watching Tony 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 with the new singer. Uh, right. No, please like that don't. Nigga do sound like Rock no, Hill. Tony Tony Tom. <laughs> Some nigga who ain't got Tony, no Tony money Tom. except for this concert. This. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, they gonna bone thugs and shit. That nigga Ubered up here. Oh, I'm gonna tell you, Tom has done it again. Don't, 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 don't. See you at the crossroads. Well, over here, so you don't be lonely. Oh, man. Tony, Tony, Rick has done it. So we'll see what happens, because this thing is still not really quite unfolding. Yeah, I believe they gonna shut the country down again. Yeah. I hope I come to see y'all this week, Dallas. So moving on, uh, of course, also big in the news is uh, the divorce of Dr. Dre and his wife, Nicole Young. She filed yesterday. Uh, they were married for 24 years, and word is they did not have a prenup. Their two, chi their two children are grown now. The daughter's 19, son is 23. A dead bitch can't tell a nigga shit. <laughs> and Nicole is represented by high-powered attorney Samantha Spector. That's not a good sign. Uh, they're citing irreconcilable differences. Dr. Dre's 55, she's 50. Okay. Anybody got yeah. something to say about it? Mm -hmm. I want to say something about it. No, I heard, I heard, I seen the paperwork. Saw the paperwork? Yeah, he working on the album, and he, uh, she divorced him because he refused to hire a ghostwriter. He wanted to write all his rhymes. She's like, nah. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't get it. I know I he got a joke in there. <laughs> Greg be covered with them jokes. My thing is, that Nicole, you knew when you met Dre, he couldn't write no rhymes. Now, 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 now fucking Wait, keep what? going. Oh, he Go with it, even him, because he gonna write the album. Yeah, because he gonna write the album. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hell yeah, hell, hell yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Y'all stupid. Oh, see. Y'all niggas stupid. <laughs> that nigga's man. Yeah. I want to say this. I was fortunate enough to meet the good brother, Dr. Dre. Yeah. Legendary. Yeah. yeah, legendary. And yo. My brother ain't never did nothing but show me love. Dr. Dre, I thank you for all of the licks you threw my way. Um, very 
saddened that you about to go through this bullshit with this divorce bullshit. Well, hopefully it won't be ugly. It ain't cool. It ain't cool. Yeah, it's not cool, but hopefully it won't be ugly. I mean, I haven't heard anything other than just well, being her ugly. She, she, she hired a. She hired. Yeah, uh, that's true. It's uh, not a good uh, look. Uh, uh, uh. uh. I'm trying not to say what I really want to say. Yeah, no. She hired a woman who is plugged in the court system hustle game. And no matter what, he's a black male That's a good way of putting it. Mm -hmm. who's about to be in the courthouse. Mm -hmm. And he found a way. They're going to make him pay for that. Well, yeah, that's what I was about he to say. A, hey, he say is, a, he winner. is a winner. He going to come out hey. on top in some way, shape, or form. Even like when, when, when Michael Jordan got hit with the divorce mm -hmm. from Juanita. She got a mm -hmm. big chunk from, from MJ. Yeah. But MJ went on to of continue course. to be MJ, and yeah. now he's a billionaire or yeah. something I don't crazy. I know something so about Dre, man. He one of them people He going to win. He going to win like Jordan won. Whenever you see him in some type of con controversy, he always come back better, stronger, bigger. He just, uh, he just one of them motherfuckers, he's man. And he tends to stay out of the way. He tends to stay out of the way, I was too. honored to work in the studio with him. Yeah, where he was dope. telling me what to do and shit. I was like, that's Dre up there and shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Right. Mm -hmm. so, he's going to be all right. I think. But as far as it go with marriage, I mean, I just want to say this with marriage, man. We are not in no condition mentally to marry nobody. I'm, I'm talking about and men and athletes. women. Yeah. Yeah. Most of us Hell are not yeah. mentally able to pick a person that is going to see you through. You're just not ready. You know when you're ready for marriage, when you and another person agree to be with each other, and y'all at an age where you're like, you really want to be with me? That's real marriage. When you old motherfuckers with shit that don't work on your bodies. and shit, That's when real marriage. But anybody... 20, 30, 40, I will even say in your 50s, you do not know how to pick somebody that's going to be down for you. Because the most devastating feeling in the world is when you see your girl leave and you're sitting in bed wondering where she at. Right. Yeah. What is worse than that when you wondering where your woman, who you love, <laughs> I don't give a fuck what happened. You love this motherfucker. She gone. Just think about that feeling. I know every man out there who got any type of action in this world and been through that shit. Yeah. Ain't nothing more devastating than that besides death of a loved one. Yeah. Right. And, when and, you, and when your that girl, is, that is like a death, though. You saying something really powerful, man. Don't get married, man. You're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna be able to see each other through, man. Sometimes when you get to a certain age in life, you really just. I'm just saying. This is what I see a lot of women do with these guys who have money, and they are especially rappers or producers and shit like that they just want to be free of him and chop up what's left and get the fuck on with that right like didn't this happen to master p mm. but you said I mean, something I earlier that, yeah. i wanted to go back to that you said something earlier about people being down with you real love is when you found a real person who understands what's really wrong with you and is okay with it. How about that? It's hard to find those people that know what's wrong with you mm -hmm. and, and don't judge you for it, it yeah. and are okay with that. There's so many people who mm. fuck with you till they had they feel, then they be like, okay, I'm tired of this motherfucker. I'm about to go out here and see what this next motherfucker talking about. Right. But they never say that's exactly what it is. Right. But you know that's what happened. Mm -hmm. right. Right. Some new rooster in the hen house. And, and he and, got your girl. Mm -hmm. And it was 24 years. Because I done yeah, been that rooster time. before. Right. That's quite right. a long time considering the, the, the industry he's in. But you see, but this, like is, this is my question now. Was it, was it 24 years of love or was it 24 years of tolerance? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. know. We, don't yeah. know. we know yeah. that according to what's said, they finna split. And after 24 years of being around somebody, that ain't easy to know that that other person is out you don't know where. It's, right. it's almost like a part of you really dies. Yeah. Yeah. That you will never recover from. Right. When you've been with somebody 20 plus years and all of a sudden now they gone. Right. Wow. Yeah. It is. It's like a death. But that's, that, that's why I asked the question. Was it because 
if you see something that says irreconcilable differences, right? Well, you you know those irreconcilable differences didn't happen in the last twelve months. Of course right. not, right? So now you have to ask yourself a question: If you're together for twenty four years or ten years or fifteen how years, how long were you tolerating? How long were you yeah. tolerating? Yeah, yeah. Right? Whatever yeah. you're saying. Whatever is you're saying is irreconcilable, and I find that a lot of people in relationships spend a lot of time tolerating the person they're with as opposed to accepting. Yeah, that's only, you can't yeah. be down, ten toes down, unless you've accepted mm -hmm. first yourself and your partner. Right. How about this? So you were never down. How about right. this? Right. I got, you're never down. Yeah. I got respect for what Will Smith and Jada Pickett got. Because if I'm bold enough to say this. Well, they speak on it, if you're going to say it. Well, what do they say, D? About their open marriage? Yeah. They s that's the big thing. They s talk about it all the time. Sometimes it's better not to destroy your connection with that other person and just be boss enough to understand this thing is worth more with us together versus us apart. Mm -hmm. do, you know how, do you know there are lawyers who all too often wind up with all the money in a marriage? Oh, yeah. Right. Well, I mean, marriage. people don't know what that means. Like, it's, it's people who fight whatever, mm -hmm. and then the lawyer comes to you and say, well, you guys don't have enough money to keep fighting. Right. You have to figure it out now. Mm -hmm. right. right. That's because divorce is the number one indicator of poverty in America. Yeah. Marriage is the number one indicator of wealth, and divorce is the number one indicator of poverty. When most people don't want to settle with just having a mediator. When, when you lose, mediation. you got to break shit up. Right. Now... Fortunate for MJ and uh, you know Michael Jordan and, and Dr. Dre, mm -hmm. they got enough to that you, they can break it up and still mm -hmm. maintain their lifestyle, right? right? Like it feels good to tell a bitch, person, "This ain't my last money. This your last uh -huh. money, bitch." Right. Mm -hmm. But but the average person, divorce oh, is yeah. ruinous. Oh yeah. You've seen a lot of men mm -hmm. who don't have the resources as those mm -hmm. brothers hit rock bottom. I had right. an uncle that had to live in a car for three years. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, Absolute she took rock everything bottom. In the house. So heard what she yeah. said? And he had to continue to pay child support, so he lived in his car for Look three years. That. Yeah. yeah. That's a cold. Yeah, I, I, she got the house, oh, you, the kids. One of the situations, I know a situation, I ain't gonna say no names, where the motherfucker was just living in the back house. He was married to the bitch. They stayed married, yeah. I know who you're talking about. And the motherfucker was living in the back house. This bitch had dick coming through and everything. Yep. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, no. Nah, nah. I'd have left. Wait. Dick uh, coming through the house? They got divorced. No, they didn't. And he or, had or, or maybe she didn't want him no more. So they were separated. But that's, that's a situ regardless, it was a situation yeah. where the woman was the dominator. <laughs> they stayed on the same property, yes. And they stayed mm -hmm. on the same property, and mm -hmm. Dick was coming through. The oh, no, nah, man. I he tell you what. He stayed in the back, close to the kids. I he tell you what. Postmate man. Dick. Just yeah. <laughs> pull up. <laughs> I wouldn't whoop that hey, bitch. I would <laughs> clobber that bitch. If no, that's I a well-tamed uh, nigga. Would clobber that's that a well-tamed nigga to yeah. be like, okay, we ain't together no more, but for the kids, I'm here. I'm going to be on the property. I'll that. be in yep. the back if y'all need me. On the Ben Grimm side fuck of the game. Oh, yeah. I'm a dope fiend of bitch. I ain't even scared to go see it coming. I don't even like meeting bitches' kids. Yeah. I tell them. <laughs> it is, it's inappropriate for me to meet your child. Mm. Bitch, ain't no telling what the fuck I'm going to do to you or your child. You don't <laughs> even know me, bitch. That's real I'm true. fucking you because I'm Corey Holcomb. You know how many bitches I done said that to? Bitch, you wouldn't like me. Bitch, I got a gut. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you look like a baby doll. But because I got the bag a little bit, I ain't got no real bag, but at one time I was working in, in America. You I can't work no more now. <laughs> you stupid. It ain't been that long. I'm a realistic motherfucker, though. I know, he's making it sound like that. I'm a ready. realistic motherfucker, man. I done fuck bitches that I know is because I'm Corey Holcomb. Hey, yeah. Who the yeah. fuck? I, I'm not, I'm not. God rest his soul, Kobe, who will fuck a bitch in a hotel and just lead a bitch because I think it's sweet. Every bitch I leave, I be like this. We good? <laughs> 200 right there. You straight? <laughs> All right. I'm going to get, get up, up out of here. All right? Don't, don't mention the no great skin. Kobe Bryant like that. No, I'm just saying. Kobe, Kobe was naive <laughs> to the game. Yeah, he, he thought he could that. fuck a bitch in the ass and leave her with his Lakers outfit on. <laughs> he, he didn't know. This life. ain't no he diss to him. He didn't That's know true. the game. Right. A lot of niggas didn't know the game, man. Mm -hmm. You have to pay these hoes. But they you ain't do. No, but the but, but the key thing there is, like you said, and they ain't not Corey Bryant, Kobe Bryant, so they didn't have the money and the means, so if they get caught. You Ooh. know what I'm saying? 
your average person. I'm saying like how you just the average nigga who ain't got no money no. Or the bitch know. Mm. The bitch be like, he ain't got shit worth talking shit about, even if he took the pussy. What I'm going to mm. do, embarrass myself? Embarrass my mama? I ain't got no business fucking him anyway. This nigga a home invasion nigga. Yeah. And I just, uh, I just ate out his ass. <laughs> this nigga said, embarrass my mama. Right. What you going to take him to court for what? You ain't had no business with that motherfucker. Mm. If you had a real man in your life, he'd tell you. He, he took some pussy. So, Ooh. so, so Look, he, Charles. The killer? <laughs> you a stupid bitch. What you with that nigga for? So how much is it actually worth then? Because now you're talking about a certain tier of what? woman. The well, pussy. Well, uh, pussy ain't worth You pay shit. pussy according to what you present yourself <laughs> with. I'm, I'm listening to what he's saying. Yeah. And, and There's money involved. There's yeah. a transaction. If you pick a bitch up in a Bentley, you got to pay that bitch something that make her not feel stupid about a nigga pulling off in a Bentley. This is true, if huh? you mm. fuck a bitch in a motherfucking old ass cutlass, right. <laughs> you can leave a hundred dollars on the dresser and the bitch and feel like I got him. Oh but my don't God. <laughs> But wait, Corey, don't don't some women feel like they getting paid by being able to be a passenger in the bitch? Yeah, bitch, if you don't shut the fuck up, man. No, look. man, you can't yeah, no. you can't bank on a hoe being naive like that. Yeah. Not anymore. Talk about it. If you picking Not anymore, bitches though, up think, yeah. and motherfucking Bentleys, <laughs> you got to pay that bitch. Or, or, or I put it like this: another way to motherfucking save yourself, you got to tape the bitch. Yeah. And motherfuckers do be taping bitches. There's it's plenty of bitches on tape that don't know they on tape until they lie and say he did something. They, that nigga be like, no, I didn't. <laughs> he go to my photo. <laughs> what you don't know is that uh, teddy bear over there <laughs> is a 4K camera. Ladies and gentlemen, I <laughs> caught everything, bitch. <laughs> this is what I call Exhibit A, an uh, open throat. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Let's oh. talk about she was yelling and screaming. She wasn't yelling and screaming. That throat stay open. <laughs> she wasn't saying help. She was saying ah. Oh, help. So that's the game? That's how it is? Are we done? Yes. Let me, let me just give oh, okay. you one more second. Oh. Wait. So, if you in the fucking strangers game. Here we go. Fucking strangers. I just, I just, he was doing so good. The strangers I just game is a movie. Fucking strangers game. Strangers yeah. game is a movie, though. You right. Didn't write if you fucking strangers, <laughs> you must have your game on point. You must tape holes when you fuck holes. That's what the phones is for. You can't fuck no random big throat bitch and just pull off. You must have proof that it was consensual. Because if she say it wasn't consensual, it wasn't consensual. How can you prove it not? I got it on my phone. Save all trails of text. Wow. Yeah. And when you text bitches, be always say some shit. Hey, that dick in your mouth was that good? Oh, just wait. To see her respond. Well, nowadays, people can use emojis and be like, that's not what I meant, man. You read it wrong. You didn't say that shit. <laughs> you read it wrong. You took Always it wrong, Always compliment man. bitches by implementing them. That pussy was so good last night. I hope you had a good time, too. That's how you do it. You got to use your brain, son. Use your brain oh, cell. Think right. about it now. You're... Now, D, mm. Dre, did he have a, a prenup? No. no. Okay. So prenups We're are on deck. No. Should have prenup. But what about a camera nump? <laughs> you can have a camera nump. Cam camera it, that's, nump. that's what I'm saying, a camera nump. If you know nump. anything about production, on your front door, it should all say, videotaping is occurring right now. Yeah, but they don't do shit at their houses. Those guys like that on that level, he got all kind of probably, or they do. I, well, I wouldn't do that. I hate Drake either, going so. through this, man. I, I, right, but I, I think but Dre is a true good guy, man. He gonna be and all right. And not only that, Dre, I think, look. Know. You know all the motherfuckers who talk shit about Dre? It be some bitches, and I be laughing. I've yeah. never talked. Yeah. I, I, li I like them both, but I'm just saying, uh, I'm, I'm, genius, I'm glad that, I'm not glad it's happening, but that the kids are grown. So they're maybe grown. they, maybe right. they, they did something, and that right. was a, a move on both their parts. I don't know, but I'm just saying, at least they don't have any small mm. children. Dre was a be good right. 100 dude to me. I appreciate you, Dr. Dre. I hate you going through a divorce. And I'm just saying, we mm -hmm. at that age where they leave. <laughs> I'm just saying. It can go either way. When you 50? Yeah. 
That's when they leave. That's when they be like. And that's so messed up because it's this like. This nigga, hey, it's like, I don't know if I want to stick it out. But it's like, what else He'll is that age is out there? It's like, damn. <laughs> this nigga still eat donuts. Oh, what? <laughs> he she has did. diabetes. Uh -huh. <laughs> she did. She fucked. He'll be dead soon. Right. I want my part of the money to do what the fuck I want to do instead of having to ask him for this. That's what they do. That's what happens with man, woman, money. Man, woman, money. Mm -mm. Ain't nothing. Look, if she didn't have no money, it wouldn't be nothing else out there for her. Right. I mean, what could she possibly be trying to go find? At 50 some, it ain't nothing out there for you. All you ladies, I'm telling you, you are done. I mean, ain't she's nothing, a lawyer. Ain't nothing out there. I don't she's give a fuck got if a you are whatever. When you 50 and you out there starting over, ain't nothing out there for you but new dick. Now, some motherfuckers be fascinated at who you are. Oh. <laughs> This Dr. Dre wife. Ugh, I can't even But imagine. it don't last long. I'm telling you. Mm. All you ladies, take this advice. Don't nobody want you but that motherfucker who done put the work in with you. Real spit. You ain't got to believe me. Go to church. Ain't nothing in there but bitches who ain't got nobody. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> and and, dick, and deacons with church. tight pants on. And go they got church. it like that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> They're sitting there with them balls out. I don't go to church, though. <laughs> yeah, that's 25 years. Deacon. Anyway. Ain't nothing out there for you, man. When you 50-something years old and you done left your man you've been with 15, 20-something years, ain't nothing out there for you. I know you think it's something out there for you. The goofy motherfucker that was fucking. And if you fucking with a goofy motherfucker that was fucking with you while you was with your husband, I'm telling you, shit gonna change when you ain't got your husband. Because you gonna impose on him. And he gonna be like, bitch, we need to get your husband back. <laughs> I'm I ain't Deacon got Dick. all this time for you. Yeah. I got come through fuck time. I ain't got no be with you. Oh my God. My name is Deacon Dick. Uh, <laughs> Deacon Dick. God Jesus told and me to come here with the word. Remember that one that got filmed? God she was said. Him all God right. said. Remember the one that filmed the, the, the going through a tough time. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, oh, why would that pastor let her film him like that? I don't know. Maybe he didn't think it was gonna get out. I don't know because he was looking at the camera. He might have. I don't know. That was and crazy. If I'm right, she just filmed him eating pussy, right? Yeah. He's and he a had bitch. them little nuts. He had them little nuggets, nuggets on his on his head, so they can. You, you saw that one, right? Where it was like that's what? him. He got all them pornos, Lenny oh. Kravitz. <laughs> He got all the, yeah. These phones is full of shit. Yeah, right. Anyway, these like you showed it. us some of the worst shit we I never looked at. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> anyway, okay, can I? I just got a couple little things I want to throw in there. Um, so Colin Kaepernick, this sounds great. Colin Kaepernick and Ava DuVernay partnered up with the network uh, with Netflix um, to release a scripted six-part drama series about his early life, and it'll cover such things as, of course the racial conflicts he faced being an adopted black man growing up in that white community. Uh, an actor will portray him, of course, but he'll narrate the entire thing. It's titled Colin, um, Colin and Black, uh, Colin and Black and White, and it will start filming later this year. No word is uh, as if they finish the casting or not. That's very interesting, V, what you just said. Mm. Because Colin Kaepernick is one of them kids in that situation who chose black, mm -hmm. chose to identify as black. Black, right. A lot of times they don't identify as black when they in that situation. When that happens, right. Because I know somebody who I love is with a person like that, a black boy who was brought up by white parents, and he identifies with white. white. All his friends are white, mm. but he got a black girlfriend, and she going through it because mm. his, his mama don't like her. Mm -hmm. um, you know, she wanted his mama, adopted mama wanted him to be around white chicks. So yeah. those kids who go through that, they have to wind up picking a side. And unfortunately, the person who I know, even though he got a black girlfriend, he still is a, he's embarrassed of it because he thinks he's supposed to do what pleases what he's around, white people. Mm. So that's why I'm like, a guy like Colin Great. Kaepernick is really a self-aware guy. Self -aware, I, I got mad strong, respect for that, that dude yeah. in a lot of ways. Yeah. It's easier to act like you white and hang around white people and not be around the real world. Mm -hmm, that's true. Or duck it until say, yeah, once in a while somebody be like, who's the nigga with y'all? Well, uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the nigga. All right, so this should be interesting. I'm looking forward to that because I love both their, I mean, she's amazing. So we'll I don't see. know nothing about her. Oh, yeah, you What's probably, she do, you do? D? She's done documentaries. Yeah, a lot of. 
heavy duty documentaries on Netflix. Oh, she did that too as well, but he ain't watching those kind of shows. But that's a good one too, though. What it's is it called? Like Queen Sugar. It's a series. That's Queen like a, Sugar. Yeah, but that's a drama series. It's a script. Sounds like some gay shit. No. Is it? It has to do with the, them owning the sugar cane fields in the South. No, and like white oh. people trying to take over. No. Okay. It's good. Also, um, speaking of Netflix, uh, congratulations, George Lopez. Tonight it airs his first uh, Netflix special. It's called We'll Do It For Half. Airs tonight. <laughs> So I can't wait to see it. I know. <laughs> He's talking about the whole wall and Trump and all that shit. So I'm excited for that. So I'm gonna George check it Lopez out. is funny, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my yeah. God, I love me some George Lopez. Yeah. Also, uh, congrats to The Shy. It came back out again. I love it, The Shy Show. But what's funny is they got rid of Homeboy. Remember we talked about it earlier in the year when they got rid of him? They got rid of the black dude. Real quick. And I was wondering how that was going to happen because right now it's just episode. I saw a lot of young. Episode two. Huh? I saw a lot of young black kids on that poster, except for one old black man who looked like he'd do whatever to be there. It's the same ones. It's all the same people. It's all the same characters. They just got rid of him, but I was interested to see how they were going to do it. And then, huh? They added Lala. Reggie died, and his twin brother came in. Came into the picture. You know I don't how know they nothing do about it. I don't know. But anyway, about it's about it's a, it, those that watch <laughs> it. It's Reggie a, it's died, though. <laughs> I stopped watching it. <laughs> it's a good show. No, it's I stopped. When I seen that. Junebug is in jail. Had, what happened, Craig? <laughs> had a scene where they had a, this nigga supposed to be a gangster, and he in a kiddie pool, naked, taking a bath in a house party full of other gangsters. Yeah. Oh, but he was, was like, that that sound like some shit. Ain't a woman in charge of that show? Yeah, she's, le she's a lesbian she's gay, woman. Yeah. I like it. Ain't let no all dyke bitches make the movies oh, to tell the hood now. Wait, a nigga what taking is a the bath? Truth? It's just at a party. It doesn't have to be real. In the With middle, a house full of nick. A house full of supposed oh, to be oh, killers. He in a kiddie pool, naked. <laughs> He the leader of the gang. He in a kiddie pool naked, niggas just standing around. I heard like something like that got girls, to do with that Black Lives girls. Matter shit. What the fuck? Dyke bitches. Mm -hmm. I think it was That's who they let in Hollywood. They let dyke bitches and safe niggas in Hollywood. And I'm not knocking nobody for what they do. Congratulations, motherfucker, for your little sucker ass shit. But I'm just saying, mm. look at the bitches who in charge of shit. It's what? pussy suckers. They, they telling their story from sucking pussy point of view. <laughs> sucking pussy mm. and can't fuck the bitch. Mm. I want to let all you dykes know who, who don't like black men. Ain't nothing like sucking some pussy and then fucking it afterwards. Oh. Something you would never feel. You going to suck some pussy and poke something in it afterwards. <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. Uh-oh, oh. what? I didn't know. Oh, she did? But a strap Sarah on. Sarah said something about a strap on. Like I said, it's... It's just what I said. It's just <laughs> pretend. Your whole life, your whole life is a pussy sucking bitch. Just pretend. This is my Holographic God. fucking. <laughs> you would never know what it feel like to fuck wet sucked pussy, which is the greatest feeling in the world. <laughs> you would never know. You will always be bitter. Speak more on it, you sir. You muffin sucking bitches. Uh, Come get uh, some uh, dick uh, put uh. in you and do what your pussy was made for. Oh, my Lord. I'm just saying. As a man, I can attest to that uh, testimony. <laughs> Wet pussy. We'll never know what it feel like to deliver a child. <laughs> Simply Nor a do I want to know what it feel like to deliver a child. I am going to take what God gave me and work it while I'm alive. But Tight. these, Wet pussy. these <laughs> wannabe <laughs> stud bitches are so bitter. Because they can't fuck the pussy after they suck the pussy. I've always been confused about that. <laughs> I've always wanted to sit down and have a conversation and say, what exactly do you feel? <laughs> yeah. Especially yeah. a woman. I, I'm serious. Like, a woman you yeah. love ain't nothing like sucking a pussy and fucking her after that. That is the greatest. And punishing her. See, we don't and know. See, like Sarah, you can relate. I, we, I, I, we don't know. Is what? It? A lost woman just said two clicks <laughs> on each other. <laughs> That's good. like I'm getting shortchanged. I want the rest. Where's the rest? Uh, so, so bean wrestling. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Bone scraping. What the hell? What the fuck? Bone this rub, rub perfection is <laughs> over here. Let's rub the shit out of each other. <laughs> Let's make a fool out of each other and rub. Let's heat up our pubic hairs. 
rub this monkey on another monkey <laughs> and think it's equivalent to some monkey dick in a pussy. Yeah, <laughs> Ain't crazy. nothing. That you crazy. you God laughing at you up there. God, look at these stupid bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Get your monkey ass off that bitch. I didn't make it for that. What <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Fags got more of a motherfucking right to asshole than rubbing pussies. What the fuck is that? You said a right to asshole. Wait, what happened? You must have got filled with Bill. Wait, I got a right to asshole, okay? I got a story. We got letter. rights. <laughs> what the fuck? A fruit booty, a fruit booty motherfucking couple, there is penetration. Two bitches are making a fool out of themselves in front of the insects in the house and looking in the window. The flies are outside. Look at these stupid bitches rubbing it here. Get y'all monkey ass off each other. Y'all some stupid bitches. What do they call them bitches? What do they call them bitches? What? What? No. no, it's a street name for bitches who fuck with each other. Is it strawberry? What no, is it strawberry? A, strawberry is a crackhead what? prostitute. Yeah, crack a crackhead uh. prostitute. Uh. Well, they gonna crack their pussy open rubbing it like that. Oh my god! Can you can you imagine That's two just, bitches? Yeah. I'm talking about especially two bear builds just oh, 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 oh. sitting there crossing legs oh, 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 oh. rubbing. Ah, oh, shoot in the house if I saw. <laughs> 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 like, what's going on? Y'all monkey ass off each other. Your baboon back ass off that bitch. <laughs> baboon back. You never watch Yeah, all the time. Everybody cut that shit off after two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah the asked that the guys fucked. watch lesbian porn. That's, That's interesting. Hilarious. That's very interesting. You never it's thought about that until so you start giving the description. Uh, uh. Yeah. Do you hear this lost woman? She said y'all always want threesome. <laughs> Dick with two pussies is different. Than, yeah. yeah. Is progression. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's biblical. Three pussies. Three pussies in a room. It's spiritual. <laughs> Three pussies in a room equal a car with no tires on that motherfucker. <laughs> ain't going nowhere. It's community building. We, we, we building family. You might scratch up the flow, bitch, but you still got to call an Uber. Uh, it's foundational to our, to our lives. Uh, Two fun. pussies in a room with one dick. Mm. Two pussies in a room is one dick is progressive. Yeah, it's progressive. Right. A All dick right. is progressive. A dick and a pussy creates the most valuable right. thing on this planet, life. Mm -hmm. things, right. are, things are being created in that sense. A dick without a pussy, two dicks together is, is, is heathenism. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sword fight. I'm talking fight. about all you motherfuckers. Yeah. It's a sword fight, it's a duel. The dicks together <laughs> shit. That means the whole rap community, Oh, oh, oh. Hollywood community. Come on, let's talk about it. I ain't scared to say it. Oh, God. If you a rapper and you made it, how? <laughs> <laughs> now the new ones are doing all the <laughs> How, nigga? Oh. How did you become platinum, nigga? Oh, oh. What the fuck is you talking to like you ain't had no dick in your ass and you out here just making it, nigga? Oh. What the fuck is you talking to, nigga? Oh, I know the game, nigga. I'm here. I have seen it. That's why I'm look bitter. At, look at Craig. Uh, I uh, found out I wasn't going to never make it when I saw I was in the Dragon's Lair. What happened? They, they, I was in the Dragon's Lair. Niggas what happened? accept me because I'm a fair nigga. The, the, the confident faggots don't mind me being around because they know I'm a good person. I ain't me bragging. The confident faggots will have me around. The insecure faggots, the ones that don't never stand on nothing. I don't even know him. He is angry, bitter. Them motherfuckers. <laughs> they hate me. But there's some motherfuckers out here, they ain't finna go around and talk about, hey, nigga, I'm a faggot. I fuck niggas in the <laughs> ass. Because that ain't how they do it. But they be around me because they some motherfucking men who motherfuckers stand on it? They'll beat your ass. I like being around niggas that'll beat your ass. Them the type of niggas I feel comfortable around. Mm. It's like the Shark Tank. Niggas who will beat your ass, I get along with them niggas. Them niggas who be perpetrating like they something. Right. And all that shit, we always fall out. 
And I'll be knowing we're going to fall out. I'll be like, can we talk about the lesbians some more? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we ain't got to talk about the, the girls, lesbians, goddammit. All we girls. got to do is just go <laughs> to a lesbian get down and watch how frustrated they all look. Because oh. can't nobody get fucked. They can get poked with toys. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. They can get rubbed with um, clits that's about to fall out the motherfucking skin oh, bag. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> You can tell a dyke pussy, the, the ball be hanging out the skin bag a little bit. I got to rub too hard. What? I got the heel. That's crazy. The little grocery store bag the ball be in is ripped. That's... <laughs> what the fuck? I'm just saying. Are there like mun uh, carpet munching burns? I mean, uh, I'm just, from rubbing together, is, is there burns? I don't know. No? Sizzling. Scissoring. 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 Scissors, like, yeah. what? No, it's great but these bitches whose thighs ain't built right, the inside <laughs> look what an airplane land. It looked just like what an airplane first land. <laughs> Some black... <sh> <laughs> you know what? Some black skirt marks. <laughs> 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 Bitch, God ain't make your thigh right. Your, uh, <laughs> your crown molding is off in your yeah. ass. Ass thigh area. Where your ass and thigh meet, your crown molding ain't right. What the fuck? <laughs> you gotta get your leg straight leg. Oh, oh shit. But this the the things we've said today is one of the main reasons why you hear mm. that the LGBT community feels like black people don't support them. <laughs> Hey man, look, I know them LGBT bitches, a lot of them be fucking bitter bitches. You want me to tell you the people who are confident? Prince made a song about it. The beautiful ones. Always Those smash are the ones the pictures. who are normally not tripping off shit. Mm. It is the Walter Matthau looking bitches. <laughs> I got mm -mm -mm -mm. What the fuck is that? Google, who is I know that's kind of old for my crowd. Walter Matthau, man. Look up Walter Matthau. <laughs> the odd couple. Oh, I love Walter. All them bitches who look like Walter Matthau. Show this nigga Craig about to look up a bitch of Walter Matthau. Look at my face. That's a good picture. Right. That's his real name. Walter, Walter Matthau. Matthau. Uh -huh. yeah, that's the... So you said unattractive people are the ones who really have their issue. Unattractiveness makes it hard in society because you don't get the things that you feel you deserve. Mm -hmm. When you're unattractive, you don't get the right greetings. <laughs> you don't get the right jobs. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's people who are, are unattractive who have jobs, but they are so qualified for that job. They just had to get it. Why but I'm saying, when you're not attractive, and mm -hmm. I'm not talking about somebody no, I, who's, I who's yeah. just mildly unattractive. Right. I'm talking about like when you're an unattractive person, it's not fair. God owe you a stimulus package. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> when you're not attractive, you should get a check from God for at least 10000 and that's small change versus what you got to go through in this world. Divine bank of heaven. Uh, right. $10,000. <laughs> Ugliness retribution. God send you a check for a million. That means you're an ugly motherfucker. God was like, I ain't feel like doing it right that day. All right? I know I'm God, but shit, I get drunk too. Why isn't there a movement like for ugly people? Like, like the movements that are out here, the different movements. It is Black movements for ugly people. Ugly Lives Matter or something <laughs> like that. I don't know. Like, well, look at the lady who, who made li All Lives Matter you know, without, the, without the, the jokes. Oh, no. Without the jokes. You want to look like KRS-One. Oh, that's, that's the Me Too movement. Oh, that's Me Too. Wait, what? You ain't seen the one look like KRS-One? Uh, that's Me Too. Okay, that's Me Too. Yeah. And don't you think it's fair that she should be upset? Of course. When I see her face, the first thing I said when I saw her is, I get it. <laughs> that's the first thing I said. Oh, I get it. Lord. I see why she don't like the world. Hey. Because, goddammit, her smelling some food she cooked, I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> and she was like, I'll be there. Ah, yeah. I can't yeah, lie. To it. Yeah. That bitch face look like motherfucking uh, heat of the night. <laughs> the heat of the night, nigga. She look like a deacon at a Gargoyle Baptist Church. Right. Paco <laughs> Louisa. <laughs> 
raging Harlem face, bitch. Yeah. Baby girl, you hurt me deep. <laughs> Looking ass, bitch. Anyway, we ain't took a break. We're going to take a break and come back with the little pussy ass song. Even though this show didn't air on time, I believe this show is going to be worth it to y'all, motherfuckers, because we talking that shit. We're going to take a quick bathroom break, come on back from the song, and we're going to let Zoe get on back to the motherfucking hood. <laughs> get low, get on back to the hood. 5150 in a minute. Niggas can't even fuck with me. Yeah. Everybody know I lead. Nice. Get in the club nice. with no ID. Yeah. Bad bitches on the side of me. Go. I got a wife, they on the side of me. My Keep my gun on the side of me. If you touch me, you will die, G. Prepare for war, no back and forth. Really from the trenches, we not acting for it. And they told me, rich don't sleep, so I sleep less. <laughs>
From break. There it is. What? Oh. Come on, do your thing. I don't know where it's been though. Mm -hmm. No, we just opened it right now. 5150 okay. is back in the house. Happy birthday to Goose the Great. Hey, my brother told me to shout him out. Happy birthday, boy. Happy I birthday. Let me know it's your birthday, goddammit. Said he in motherfucking somewhere. We getting some I 57 ribs, mouth off. Must be in the shy.
What it do, nigga? I got to see you them two shirts you bought. How, how, how the shirts looking, B? I hope we have the size for that. Oh, yeah? If somebody bought something, if, if it wasn't removed from the, you know? So the shirt's low? Them cop shirts? Mm-hmm. And we pack some up tonight. Damn. I'm going to make some more shirts. I got a whole bunch of shit over there. Just the motherfucking shit ain't been out. We got COVID working program over here. Nigga, paper low. Anyway, y'all know what happened after the break. First of all, I want to let everybody know who's going to watch this shit. Arlington Improv. I will be there. They done cut the shit down to 50% capacity. Mm. Really? Fucked up. But are they, so do they, in that case, do they allow people to add just more shows? You might be able to add more shows, but it still fucked the paper up. Mm. But Arlington. Fuck with me. We got a show on Thursday. We normally don't do Thursday. We got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday trying to lead that motherfucker with the rent. <laughs> I ain't paid my rent this month. Mm. Not because I ain't have it. I just okay, ain't nigga. been down <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go pay them motherfuckers. If you watching, rent, bitch, I got you. Rent, bitch. Rent, bitch. Damn it. Speaking of rent, bitches, hit it. <laughs> yeah. Y'all know we be making these songs during the break. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Um. This song is dedicated to all the clicks out there that's getting mashed the fuck out. My of girl them. got a girl and she thinks she's a dude. Yeah. Let a hoe be a hoe, cause those are the rules. Can I say it again? My, My girl, girl got a girl, girl and she thinks she's a dude. But let, let a hoe be a hoe, cause those are the rules. That's the rules, motherfucker. Rule. I started off, cause I don't give a fuck. When two women are together, they can't fuck. They rub and hug and try to love, but God say, bitch, what the fuck is y'all doing? Working that click till the shit get bloody and lit. Get the fuck off the other bitch fast. Y'all can't hit that ass. My girl got a girl and she thinks she's a dude. Let, Let a hoe be a hoe cause those are the rules. Those are the rules, bitch, those are the rules. My girl got a girl and she thinks she's a dude. He be acting like a dude. Let a hoe be a hoe cause what? those are the rules. Them the rules, motherfucker. What up, Craig? She walk like me, kind of talk like me, but she really ain't me because this game ain't free. Been around for a while, bitch, have been on the spree. Fucking bitches who look like you that listen to me. I said the same shit twice, bitch. I'm on your head like lice, and I'm going to slap you thrice. If you don't understand the difference between me and Sam or Samantha or whatever you call that bitch. I got a girl, a little girl, and whatever I forgot. Dude. Let, Let a hoe be a hoe, cause those are the rules. I got a girl, got a girl who thinks she's a dude. Echoes in the mic. Let a hoe be a hoe, cause those are the rules. You a dyke bitch ain't shit, she needs to quit. Bitch be quiet and get some dick. Walk around here with them sagging pants on. Acting like you own the phone. Talking to a bitch, you ain't talking to nobody. Your whole game is shoddy. I hate dyke bitches who be acting like they hard. Built like Lord. My girl is a girl and she's a dude. Yeah, you got the hiccups with this bitch. Let, Let a, a hoe be a hoe, cause those are the rules. rules. My girl got a girl and she thinks she's a dude. Thinks she a dude. Let a hoe be a hoe, cause those are the rules. Yeah. Don't cross that line, there won't be no drama. I'm telling you, you must have learned this from your mama. She told you niggas wasn't shit, and you didn't forget, and now you got you a nigga with a clit. And I can't believe that she could do your weave and dress just like me, and now you're feeling free. As long as you come around a nigga, you gon' pay attention. Cause I'm the nigga around here, I give a fuck what she mentioned. He being quiet like she don't know about pussy licking. No, I don't. You only know about sticking. What about you, Zoe? You know some hoes? They fuck with each other, rubbing on the floor. I do. I'm proud to say I fuck with bitches that's gay. Because I don't give a fuck. They ain't mine. 
They ain't fine. Girl, girl, <laughs> they do. do. Let her hold me a hole, cause those are the rules. Mark is over there looking like he got a shit. My girl got a girl and she thinks she's a dude. Let her hold me a hole, cause those are the rules. She tried to put gay before me in black. Got fired, now she coming back to this part of town where the niggas at. Cause the white folks didn't accept her. Tried to get more money in the pocket and pressed her. Made her fold to that white supremacy. Now she looking at the motherfuckers like why they limit me. To just being a regular ass nigga with all this education. And no way to pay back the bitches government. My dyke bitches always mad. They ain't never had no dick in their ass. <laughs> you gotta understand that way ain't right. The power you fight. But one day you gonna give in and... Let one of your male friends dig that ass straight from the back. Hope you got enough back. I pound that pussy. I pound that pussy. I drown that pussy. I mount that pussy. I'll fuck you back on this side when I get in that pussy. This fucking you in front of your kids. They don't care. Because I gave them money for teddy bears. <laughs> I'll say that again because I like it. This fuck uh, you in front of your kids. Yeah. They don't care. Because I gave them money for a teddy bear. This fucking you in front of your kids. And telling them that that's just the way it is. Your dog be barking <laughs> when I fuck you. But I be larking. Stop barking. I just found a word with barking. I'm sharking. Sharking. This fuck you without cutting my nails. Oh, my God. Uh, go on the shark side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Sarah. This fuck you with some dice in my clench, and then I open my hand and let it off in your shit. This fuck you with some dice in my clench, and then I let it off inside your pussy hole stench. What? <laughs> <laughs> pussy without a pussy. Wait, oh, pussy on yeah. pussy. No, it don't matter. <laughs> yeah. 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 You save me. I ain't had shit to say. Yeah. <laughs> pussy, pussy, pussy. Wow. We got my nigga Marcus over there in the house. Marcus. Mark, damn it. Motherfucking the man who just drove Uber for four days straight or something. Why you look drained, Marcus? Uh, no, he ain't gonna tell the truth. And, uh, <laughs> And nigga be driving Uber, uh, playing the guitar for customers for more tips. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> and they got some Otis Redding sheet music sitting on the air conditioned button. Right, they got them <laughs> sitting by the dock. Right, this nigga got a this nigga got a big ass guitar while he drive. <laughs> I sold my soul. You bought it back for me. <laughs> Uh, why not? Shit, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> they say you jag off with a sponge glove for niggas <laughs> to be doing their hair like this. In that shot right there, your that's hair, funny. if you look forward, it looks like Al Sharpton ish. Where? Right there. Oh, oh yeah. no, turn, turn. Right, oh. Right there? Straight ahead, straight ahead. Right. You can't see the, the dips and curls earlier. Right there. Oh. You don't get your Bram Stoker Dracula head ass out of here, D. <laughs> it's just an interesting shot. I don't know why. Dragulia. Groot. 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 Corey Groot. Holcomb. We ain't got to worry about Zoe with no motherfucking. Oh. Zoe, Zoe got the greatest hat collection in L.A. Yes, I do. I'm you quite proud of it. Ball crap. <laughs> He had that hat um Tom Cat hat on when he was um in that zoot suit that one time in Jerry. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, timepiece reference. Some of the Jim Carrey right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> was that Jim Carrey Jim movie the mask? Yeah. <laughs> 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 right. Yeah, I'm gonna oh watch that tonight. Oh my god. That was funny. Mm -hmm. They need to have a zoot suit contest oh. in LA. A zoot suit contest? Yeah, do sure motherfuckers have, still yeah. wear them suits yeah. and shit? Yeah, no. yeah. Do motherfuckers be, um, I forgot what they call that, scatting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, skibbity bop bop. Skibbity bop bop. Ding bing bang poo. This must be. Who's the best scatter up of here? Of all time? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hands oh, down, bro. Up. Oh, up here. Uh-oh. 
Raises the intimacy bar. Yeah. Yeah. Scatting together while fucking. No, your girl got to scat naturally. Hey, how much? So we... her scats are moans. <laughs> she got to scat naturally. Moan <laughs> scat. A natural scat is funny in the mother. <laughs> right. You fucking a girl who be like. Boo-ba, 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 boo-ba. How, how, do, how do you? How do you evoke a natural scat? What? How, how does how do you evoke a natural scat? Like what would happen? Put it in so her ass. You ain't uh, never been fucked uh, in the ass before. Uh, uh, be hitting the high notes, yeah. Every time you fuck a bitch in the ass for the first time, they all go. You know what? Sway. <laughs> 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 they speak Nigerian when you fuck oh, them in the ass Lord. the first time. What? 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 That was color purple at the end. What? Color purple. <laughs> color purple ain't nothing but Mama. you. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Booty mama. This nigga ain't shit. Light skin niggas got like this. Yeah. Twice, 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 twice. Twice, 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 twice. What a dark skin nigga scat sound like. It sound like shit. Fuck you. No, dark skin nigga scat. That's dark skin nigga scat. Scat sounds like. Who that nigga up on that neck? Too much. That's just funny to the motherfucker. Yeah, Lights get niggas scat like that nigga on that song, doom da da doom do do. They be like, da 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 da. <laughs> doom da da. That's a big male stripper song, you know that, right? Shoot a bit of a Huge. Because they do that. They, they make it so funny. Oh my god. Say it again. Shoot a bit of a doo. Oh my god. Say it again, though. I don't know what I said. Yeah, you did. That was good. That bitch is poor. That nigga said something because he had no instruments. He couldn't afford to put a band together. He couldn't put together a mouth band. It was like three beats. Big and wop, wop, wop. He said, we're going to put together a mouth band. A mouth band. You want me to trombone? I'm going to... Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, exactly. They said... Niggas got a straight mouth band. That's stupid. A mouth band. Remember they had in their mouth and they'd play it like a little mini guitar. What was that mouth pick thing? I don't know. You don't know that? What? No, but you know what's an amazing record? What? It's on uh, Quincy Jones' Back on the Block. Mm-hmm. Quincy Jones. Uh, this, the record is called We Be Doing It. It's all, no, no. Quincy sex it's sessions all, with niggas. No, no, no music. It's all No yeah, music, it's all but it's sound. all voices. Right. All he got sound. Take Six, Ella Fitzgerald. He got everybody. Mm-hmm. Bobby McFerrin, mm-hmm. Al Jero- everybody. And it's called the Human Being Band. the Dick and the Booty Crew. So it made the me think about, yeah. The, yeah. you know, the mouth band. The mouth mm-hmm. band. Man. This go. shit is ridiculous. Yeah, you I should, you should check it out. Yeah. We be doing it. We be doing it. I'm going to check it out. All right. 5150, we will try to be online next week. We're going to test the equipment before the show. <laughs> um, 
That way, when the late host gets here, the show can start. So you're going to uh, be late on purpose. You're telling us that now. No, not on purpose, Zoe. You doing your show tomorrow? <laughs> you're doing your show tomorrow? <laughs> right. Yeah. Get it out. I was thinking about it. I might. Are you going to be in, in the area, Nate? Nate? <laughs> I said Nick. Oh, you gonna be in the area, Nick? Up, nigga. Nick called me Nate. Yeah, that's like calling you. I mean, y'all built the same, but I wouldn't call uh, you Nate. Oh my God! <laughs> Damn. Oh my God. Got the same framework. Uh, Your hair like Marcus a little bit, but a oh. little more <laughs> sharkier. Oh my God! Boom, ba ba. The Scatting Show. Anyway, all right, so. Arlington, Texas, this week. We got a show on the 4th of July. Look at that. Where you at on the 4th of July? I'm going to be in Arlington, Texas. Trying to, mm. trying to hustle. I can't hustle. Doom, doom, doom. I would do the repo doom, show, but we would have to record it, and mm. I don't know if it'll go up, but we'll figure it out. I don't, I don't know if it's going to be a repo show, oh. but I want to tell everybody... When I do do the repo show again, it is because I know shit is right. I don't want y'all sitting around on Friday night and nothing happens. Mm. So um, subscribe. Make sure you're. Subscribed it's not nobody's fault. Sure. I'm not blaming nobody. I'm just saying mm. we gotta make sure it's right. Make mm. sure it's shit right. I love to doing the. I love doing the repo show and shit. The Moody Brothers and shit. Eight o'clock and you're still at home. <laughs> 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 Anyone fit is a way to go. <laughs> I love the intro. Yeah, yeah, it is nice. And all the songs all y'all do in the beginning, the that shit show. be stupid as hell. Wow. Repo show. Repo show. Mm. Corby wearing Special suits. Special guest this week, Darlene Ortiz. I eat cricket. Yeah, I'll be in Mexico. I leave. In you going to Mexico for real? Tonight, uh-huh. Yeah. What's in Mexico? Why? Fourth of July? Uh, what do you mean? July. Yeah, you can go to Mexico. Uh-huh. Was it the Fourth of July? No, but I come back the fourth. So you got people fun. down there? Boyfriend. No, you don't have to have people down That's there. Boyfriend. So you got a Mexican boyfriend? Or something? No, no. I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck you going to Mexico for. I go to Mexico. I used to go all the time. It's crazy. Just like, randomly, you yeah. in Mexico? Yeah. I I used to do it She's that randomly. Us no, I swear to God. It's just why why are you no, in Mexico? No, past Tijuana. You don't go. Tijuana's no fun. There's no beach there. You got to go to Rosarito. Why is she going there? Mexico. Rosarito For fun. They, it's always they fun. They cook on the beach. You want me to make laptop on Yep. Yeah. No, no, no. That's Puerto Nuevo where I'm going. But yeah, no, they have, you can get all kinds of stuff. There's so much Why fun. Why are you going down there? Give me I go quarter. down there all the time. It's Who for, waiting it's, on you? Nobody waiting to go with. Who? Oh. I mean, oh. oh, there. Yeah. We got it. You put it out there. <laughs> <laughs> we know it is. We got it now. It's friends. I'm going with a few yeah, friends. Yeah, I'll go with you to Mexico, D. Yeah. It's a few friends. <laughs> you like that little misdirection it's question. <laughs> it's a few friends. No, it's, we go all the time. The last time we went was last year, we, but we took about eight kids with us. Because they had never been. She's throwing the kids in there. <laughs> you know that? I just said that was last year, though. Yeah. Everybody no. peep game on everything, man. Yeah, anyway. You know how life yeah. really works. Just because you peep game, have fun in Mexico. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Get yeah. your motherfucking sausage on. Oh, I mean, my uh, God. Your lobster on. I'm it's going to happen, D. In Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Make a video, D. She's going to be fucking on the beach. It's going to be a little, little turtle or something. About <laughs> yeah, Latin scatting. Latin scatting. Oh, Latin scatting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 No, they'll take your temperature and stuff like that, like little bullshit, but they don't really, they're not caring for Americans. They take your temperature in Mexico like this. You go, you go. No problem, no problem. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> it's fine. You make him sound like Italians. He made him sound like Asians. What the hell? The Italians. Come on! <laughs> oh my God, that's too funny. Anyway, they going out of that bar. 
and dust. Tucson's Cantina. <laughs> All right, so thank y'all for fucking yeah, with that us, was man, fun. with this late show. It's delivered anyway. I'm going to start fucking with the YouTube live shit more, I guess. That was good. You did right good. on your phone, Pimp. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm motherfucking. Next time I YouTube live, it's going to be some crazy shit happening. You can't fuck on YouTube live, can you? No, you can't no. on OnlyFans. OnlyFans? It's your OnlyFans. We can have bitches fucking right here during the show. I'm going to have to motherfucking get on that shit, man. We're going to oh, have an OnlyFans. Yeah, create Parentheses only 5150. Oh, my God. Anything Anybody want to fuck in front of the news desk on OnlyFans on the 5150 side? We got you. We can have some little porno on the monitors right there. This is how we got to hustle now. It's, it's bad out here for a nigga. What's that about love? No, somebody told me to start an OnlyFans, and I was like, ain't Wait, that for what? the way to go? You? I'm yeah. going to tell you, Yeah, now. they was like, no, you could do anything on there. Anything. Lectures, yeah. uh, shows, it anything. It, it, it's HBO. It ain't no censorship. You know what I mean? You can curse. Mm. You can do whatever you, you want. If you do the rated X 5150 show mm. or oh OnlyFans. Give instructions on fucking. Fast, fast fucking gets off some women. Some you have to just go slow for about, take about 150 pumps. About 150 pumps when you go slow. Just that. Wait, what? Whoa, like the old dog face? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, that well, you don't be looking at him. That, oh. that means shit. <laughs> These bitches are doing porn for four, five hundred dollars. Do you think I don't know that? So we could do a whole, you know what I'm saying? I just didn't know the page. Yeah, we, man, Corey Holcomb, OnlyFans, man. There'd be some bitches in here fucking, OnlyFans fuck in front of us. I want to watch. Uh, yeah. I could jag off under the desk. Can't nobody see <laughs> That's the name of the page? Fuck in front of us. There you go. Fuck in front of us. That's the name. We're going to have Marcus cooking some country ass food for in you. In the background. <laughs> <laughs> you get some paid acorn shrimp and shells. Sure. And have him cooking some dirt. And sunflower you seeds said with acorn shells. Some dirt. Some have dirt. him cooking some dirt. Hell yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? We ain't bullshitting, though. No. Uh -huh. I ain't bullshitting. Nah, nigga, that's easy. I'm telling you, it's that easy. If you want to fuck in front of the desk, how, they, how can I tell them to get at me? You just got to start an OnlyFans. They'll have to pay whatever your membership fee is. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you set your own. You said you set your own pie. You set your own pie. Price. <laughs> Another way. Were you trying to say price, Marcus? Yeah. I thought he a said pie pie is something you eat. Like pie. Pie. Like throw it, motherfuckers. You. you set your own pie. What's the name? <laughs> has some really progressive things going on right now, man. If What's your pies? You got some discretionary cap discretionary capital. Uh, Vimeo is charging five hundred a month, but. They do everything for you. They host your website. They turn your website into an actual app. You can download out the app store. They give you 24. Would you show your asshole for 1500 Hell no. What? Okay, I'm just making no. sure. Niggas, some niggas go. They got some Marty, you would show your asshole for 1500 right? Oh, 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 he said, hey, well, I thought he was. That's it. Like, we got to get this nigga's accent. Because I don't know what the fuck. Shit, I was like, it got scary for a minute there. I didn't know. Negro calamari. It's like, what? It's like, you, like, you know like I know goddamn well. You know I know goddamn well. And you, you know I know goddamn well. Sarah, would you show your ass asshole for 150 That nigga said 150000 150000 She said that's too low. The inside of your asshole. I don't Somebody think there's a price to show the inside uh, of your... Yeah, there's, there's 150000 no. that's fair. That's fair. Show the inside. What? Ain't so much shit for nothing, man. Okay, okay, I understood that. Like you won't oh. show your ass off. I didn't say let a nigga fuck with you. I just say crack your ass open in front of the camera. You want to see if it's dark or pink. What's your pies? <laughs> so you stand for $1,500 right now. You, <laughs> you see that nigga's face? <laughs> <laughs> Your face said maybe. That's maybe face, nigga. <laughs> 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 maybe face is LA need. <laughs> maybe face is LA need. Maybe face. Marcus is maybe face. Oh my God! Oh. <laughs> this nigga maybe tender lover, <laughs> baby face. Tender lover. <laughs> I ain't gonna even finish that bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> so you a shit, but you won't show your ass. So you a block your asshole with a shit turd. <laughs> now we got a new name. Now we got a new name. 
<laughs> you got to wait for it to be coming baby out for you. Funny than a motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> Tender. Turtle. Tender. Oh, <laughs> God dang it. Turtle <laughs> asshole, look. Oh. Hey, how you be tender with a bitch? How you do it? How you what? How, how you tender love. You say, how, how can you be tender? Is it? Yeah, I, I don't yeah. know what you're talking about. Like, what? how do you be tender with a woman? Like, tender to the touch? Cause how do you do that? Do you bruise them, nigga? I'm beating everything Bring up. Bring ass. I'm destroying <laughs> pussy holes. Put a tack in the bitch ass. That's how you But how do you be tender? Because that's how you keep them. You got to be tender, right? Huh? Okay. Gently. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Well, what, what, Are you serious? How do you be serious? I'm just, I, just, no. I only beat pussies up. I don't. I don't have tenderness. You just go in me. right in for the kill. We hear, we, we, hear, you, we hear you, man. Yeah, okay. We, we know what happened with that phone call that day, but we. Hear you. <laughs> <laughs> what happened exactly. on the phone call? Exactly. I missed it. Exactly. <laughs> you, it was a classic yeah. 5150 yeah, moment. Was. What happened, <laughs> nigga? Somebody, somebody <laughs> who saw the phone call, send the phone call to Joe because yep. it's too classic. Yep. That was one of the What happened? Beating pussies up, man. That's Did somebody <laughs> refute that? <laughs> Don't believe it. Like, no, it ain't they refuted it. Some you get this <laughs> goose down dick, <laughs> nigga. Some real cake shit happened <laughs> on the show. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> get this pillowcase dick having ass, nigga. <laughs> it was a damn near baby. Oh. And you're about to get this now. Now look out, type thing. Like, you got me, right? Okay. Hey, Here we go. <laughs> they caught you girl. cake, nigga. That was my girl, though, man. She was pregnant. You know so you gotta be gentle. So blaming her for what uh-huh. happened? Uh-huh. <laughs> wow. You gotta start taking responsibility for yourself now. Uh-huh. Be accountable. That's manhood. That's yes, manhood. Shit, you're right. Uh-huh. It's all her fault still. Fuck so up. why'd you ask a question that you know well, the answer to? It was time to stand up. You know what you did? <laughs> what I do? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good note to end She do. She do. She do. She do. That's funny to catch a nigga scatting. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. What if a nigga be scatting by himself in the bathroom? <laughs> you bust in. Oh, oh. <laughs> no! Oh. Hey! He's getting man jagging off. No, 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 no. Hey! I'm not done. Scat jacket. 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 Scat Uh, Marcus yeah. just what? said some unentertaining <laughs> shit. Yeah. What? We it was were. totally unrelated to scat jacking. It just <laughs> kind of jacked our attention for a second. <laughs> our niggas in Arkansas scat. Uh-uh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They spit. Uh-oh. 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 Hey, shoot it up. See y'all next time, motherfucker. 5150. Bye. Catching a nigga scatting is funny as fuck.